For the last century, one game has captured the imagination of children around the world. Mini golf. Today, in the desert of Arizona, the sport of American mini golf adds another chapter to its fabled lore. 16 barstool personalities will compete for the ultimate prize, but who will be the deserving champion? A young boy who aspired to be a U.S. Open champion. For the glory, history, at Shinnecock, Dave Portnoy is the U.S. Open champion. But today, it won't get any easier. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, oh, you piece of fuck. I'm doing terrible. Where moments of the past shape actions of the future. Ah! Will a defending champion rise again? And there Jeff. it is, Jeff D'Lo. Or will a controversial rookie lay waste to the field? Could it be the obvious favorite? Go Come in. On, Dad. Oh! Or might an upset of epic proportions come to pass? Regardless of who you will be rooting for, the champion must conquer attrition. The champion who rises above will echo in eternity. Live from Golfland Sunsplash in Mesa, Arizona, you are watching the 2023 Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf Open presented by Pringles. Today, 16 of the biggest Barstool sports personalities clash on the green, but only one will emerge as the champion where ultimate bragging rights and permanent glory await. And we want to welcome you just a few feet away from the first tee here to the Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf Open. He is Nick Terraney. I'm Jake Marsh. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. So Nick, some of the biggest names in Barstool Sports are just moments away from teeing off right behind us. This should be a fantastic event. Jake, I'm excited for the stoolies at home when they get to watch this in six to seven months when it's edited and out. Well, guess what, Nick? This is live. No kidding. This is gonna be a disaster. Not at all. Let's introduce you to the rules for this year's tournament. It's a 16 player field with the top eight making the cut after one round. The first hole will also act as the 18th hole and that's where all tiebreakers will take place both for making the cut and determining a champion. Any ball that goes out of bounds will be a one stroke penalty and dropped at the spot where it left the green. Now let's go out to the course with the third member of our crew, Roan, who is presented by Curve. Roan, you have a chance at winning $10,000 in Curve Cash. Go to curve.com backslash barstool to be entered to win the 10K touchdown drive. Terms apply, Roan. Thanks so much, guys. I am here with the man himself, Dave Portnoy. Dave, we have 16 of Barstool's biggest personalities mingling at a mini golf course. What have you seen so far? It's quite the crew. Remind me a little bit of like Major League when everyone's rolling out of the cars in the beginning. You know, that's a mishmash of characters, personalities, a competitive event, I'm sure. And who would you give the favorite to? Who would you say is, is if you're prognosticating, who's the odds on favorite of this crew to win today? I, you got to say Jeff D. Lowe, right? He's the defending champ. He uh, at one point said he's a scratch golfer. So until you beat the man, you know, what are you going to do? He, he would be the odds on favorite. To be the man, you have to beat the man. But we have a lady that's going to be playing with us. In fact, your mom is going to be in your group today. What she taught you about the game of golf? Etiquette. She's a big etiquette uh, person. She's been in my mix a little bit about the rules. She wanted to have like a some a maximum. Like she wanted, you could only do a double bogey. I, I vetoed that. Uh, but it's every man for himself or woman. So she's a competitor today, and I'll try to take her down. Let the games begin. Jake, back to you. All right. Thank you, Roan. Thank you, Dave Portnoy. A loaded field here in Arizona. Nick, who's your pick to win it all? You know what? I think I'm going to go with Dave's mom here. She is the big heavy hitter. She, I've heard rumors that she is an excellent golfer. Going with Dave's mom. Yeah, Dave's mom, Mrs. Portnoy, a former varsity golf coach at Swampscott High School in Swampscott, Massachusetts. Let's introduce you to our first group featuring Dave Portnoy himself. He's at the tee right now. He's joined by his mother, Mrs. Portnoy, and then the boys, Will Compton and Taylor Dewan. That's right. You know, Brandon Walker really, really wanted to play in this, but we have the 16 biggest personalities at Barstool playing. We have Will, Dave, Taylor, and Dave's mom in this one. So, sorry, Brandon, maybe next year. All right, let's get right to it and send it back out to Roan to introduce our first foursome at the first tee. 
From Massachusetts, Dave Portnoy. And there are 20 scattered around the ground. That's right. I'm happy for the ants on the course. Uh, delicious chip. From Bussin' with the Boys, Will Compton. Will Compton, one total, 1.0 career total sacks. That's right. And that's with his bad teeth. This might be weird for Will. He's used to putting from the rough. Going with that red ball for Nebraska. Oh, one of the chips goes flying. And this one goes a few inches to the left of the hole. And that'll set up a solid chance for Paul. That's right. From Massachusetts, Mrs. Portnoy. Mrs. Portnoy, a rookie in this year's field. Playing with the yellow ball. Oh, yeah, you're going to love that. You're going to love that. You're going to love that. It's an air chip. Oh, it rims out. Nearly an ace, but still a solid look for Paul. Jake, this place would have erupted. And finally, Taylor Luan. From Bussin' with the boys, Taylor Luan. Taylor Luan's made more than $82 million in his NFL career, but we're playing for a $15,000 free bet from Dave Portnoy. I had no idea. That is what the winner gets. Fun prize. Bet responsibly in the Barstool Sportsbook as Taylor gets stopped by one of the chips, but a few feet away from par. So how this is going to work, it's going to be the reverse of what we see in regular golf, a.k.a. everyone tees off, and then the closest to the cup will go first. So I believe that's Taylor's purple ball. I wasn't really paying attention to what you said there, Jake. Fair enough. I'll be here all day. So again, this is a par two with the 20 Pringles chips scattered throughout the green. However, None of them in the way of Taylor's par opportunity here. That looks to be about two and a half, three feet for par. Wow. No issues there for the Michigan Wolverine. He's even. So next up, Mrs. Portnoy, a par opportunity. And she gets it. So a couple of twos here in group number one. Will Compton looks to save this par. A little more difficulty here, Nick. That's right. He is used to putting from the rough, though. I've said that. He gets his two as well. Can Dave Portnoy make it an even group one for par? Dave will be the first to drop a shot here. So three of the players at even par. And Dave at one over par. Let's take a look once again at Mrs. Portnoy's tee shot, mm -hmm. Nick. She had a little too much power on it, a little softer. It would have been an ace. That's right. As, as I said, this place would have erupted. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're it was a little bit that. of nerves, a little bit of adrenaline. You're going to love that. A little you're bit too much that. on the ball. Guaranteed you're going to love it. Oh, 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 oh. what I say? She thought she had it, but gets the even par. So Mrs. Portnoy, Taylor, and Will all even. And this group heads over to hole two, a par two as well. And you can see from one of our camera angles, you'll have to hit it through a clock tower, a giant blue clock tower. And if you hit it through there, it'll be on a direct line towards the hole. If you get it under the bridge, it'll land a few feet away. Like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So is then my mom Taylor. You know that tune, Jake? Are we good for sure. You know that little ditty, Jake? Yes. All right, I gotta stop it up. There's Dave's bitch, Austin. So Dave is, <laughs> Dave is scouting out this hole. Who, who? Seven of the, the nine traffic holes traffic. on the front nine are par twos, with the exception of hole three and hole nine. Those are par no three. This is a par 43 so course, a par 20 on the front, yeah. par 23 on the back. So Will Compton. I know what it should we'll be. tee off on hole number two. It's a huge you said this is a windmill, Jake, or a lighthouse? This is a clock tower. Oh, yeah, 0 for right 2, Nikki. So Compton is even par. Yeah. 
Again, the goal is through the bridge and through the clock tower. Oh, oh. It'll go under, so it'll go through that pipe. You'll see our camera lead it through. It'll be a few feet away for a chance at par. Again, if you get it through the clock tower, it'll be on a direct path towards the cock. Okay. So there's two options here. Spider doing a good job as the support noise caddy. Again, if you're just joining us, she was so close to an opening hole in one. She saves Paul. Great shot. Great shot. It goes left, so on the same path as Will Compton's tee shot. And she's a little bit closer. You know, she missed the bridge, but this isn't a bad lot. You see Big Cal, he'll be part of our next group. Each group is going to play two holes before the next tees off. So after this group completes, group B will tee off from the first. Taylor Luan also parred the first hole. Let's see if he can be the first golfer to get it through the clock tower, which again would set up a much better path for the ball. Jake, my favorite clock tower is Big Ben. What's yours? You can't, honest, you can't say Big Ben. Big Ben's the only one I can think of. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> that one way left. Yeah, he was crazy. It drops down, and it'll be a few inches away from Mrs. Portnoy. He ripped that shot like it was one of his knees. Get well soon, Taylor. So here's Dave again, one over par. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, later. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oi. This could be out of bounds. Could it be saved? It stays in play. So that's in play. It did not go OB. It did not hit the cement. Well, he moved it. doing two. That was, it was. I think they're taking it as OB. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Nick, Dave Hornoy's in major trouble already. Do we have a contingency plan if Dave no, just no. leaves? Do we have a fill-in? I believe this is his fourth stroke. I didn't think that got put through. Did somebody just say great shot? That person's a liar. All right, so it takes Dave four to get through there. And I believe... Mrs. Portnoy in the yellow, I think she's the closest. I do I think so. So again, Mrs. Portnoy, Taylor, and Will are all even. Dave Portnoy is one over par. And here's Mrs. Portnoy, a chance to remain even through two. She misses it to the right. She now joins her son over par. So par bogey to begin for Mrs. Portnoy. She's one over through two. Jake, I think motherly instincts took over. She may have done that intentionally. Make her son feel better. Did catch up with Mrs. Portnoy before today's broadcast. She said she is very excited to be spending this time with her son. Very sweet. She also said she doesn't know much about Taylor and Will. She's just glad she's not paired with Kirk Minahan. Oh. Taylor Luan for par to remain even. And he gets it. So Luan goes par par. Dave Portnoy, I believe this is for a five. Five, right? And he sinks it. Dave in big trouble. That was a confirmed five. Oh, okay. So a triple bogey. Dave is four over through two. And now Will Compton has a chance to join his NFL brother up top at even. And he gets it. So the boys are even through two. That is good work, Will. All right, let's send it back to the first tee where Roan will introduce group number two at the first tee box. From part of my take, Big Cat. So Big Cat, PFT, Jeff D. Lowe, the defending champion, and Caleb Presley. Scout out this group, Nick. You know what? I think this one will be all about the mental warfare, and I think it will all be piled on Jeff D. Lowe. 
And you can see Big Cat has his personal caddy, Jersey Jerry, here. And looking at Big Cat's accolades, we couldn't fit them all on the screen. He's an accomplished man, Jake. Yeah. Big Cat playing the light blue Not ball. Good. It's a little bit short. No, that's he has his bad. work cut out for him for par. You know, I'm bad. surprised Dan hasn't brought up his Phillies future yet. His Philadelphia that. Eagles future. Defending pick. champion, Jeff D. Lowe. Jeff D. Lowe has a target on his back. You heard it from Dave off of the top. Everyone's looking out for this guy. Basically, we're playing a non-major. That's a hell of a putt. Yeah, you're gonna love that. That's job. a hell of a putt, Jeff. Good Got shot, a little bit Jeff. More speed to it. Great shot, Jeff. Where was that? That's no gimme for par. That's no gimme, and there is a Pringle a little bit you don't in his make line. Really? Yeah, From really kissing good. Susie Colber, PFT. <laughs> PFT commenter, of course, a current right. member of part of my take. We're on Listen, a pass occupation of his, but he's the runner-up, and he, feel, right. he feels like he's been disrespected at this tournament. That's right. It's been a bumpy year for PFT. Some say he had the worst eye reveal since Sauron. Good shot. The boink. Another boink. Shot. And he'll be a few feet away. And finally, Caleb Presley. From Bunk Bros, Caleb Presley. Caleb Presley's handicap, Lenny Balls. That's right. Carries him around like luggage. I think that's the play. Oh! Oh! I don't know. Playing with the Carolina Blue. Behind. I was told that he beat Big Cat in a rock, paper, no. scissor. Big Cat wanted the blue for his Stella Blue coffee. Mm. But Caleb, of course. But I can also keep it here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to play it. Yeah, play It's actually this. Big Cat's ball that was knocked. Again, if a ball is knocked, you can either elect Caleb? Caleb to play it where it lies, oh, or you can move it back to it. its original spot. Big Cat, it's Jeff. Jeff. much closer. Jeff I appreciate you me. telling me. Right. I like the shadows. Yeah. Jeff with the farthest line. Remember, we're doing the closest first. So oh. It's the opposite. Told you I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so Jeff D'Lo, the defending champion, has about Four feet for par. Come on, D-Lo. Nice on, and quiet like a dozen live on, crowd. Just like Jeff likes it. There you go, there you go. So Jeff starts off with the bogey. All right, let's go PFT. Now PFT. Chance for a two. That's pretty. No issues That's whatsoever. Pretty. He looks That's calm and collected. Pretty. Now, Jake, is this the easiest hole on the course? It's one Sorry, of them. Just okay. yeah, wait till up. you see what we have up our sleeves. You can see at the top of your screen, that's a sneak peek at hole seven. Big calf for par after his ball was hit by Caleb. Oh! Fuck! Expect a lot of F-bombs from Big Cat today. The word fuck, Jake? Yes. Uh, okay. So he begins Damn it. one over par with Jeff D. Lowe. And now Caleb Presley. Let's see where his ball ended up, because it hit Big Cats. There it is in pink. Now, the last time Caleb did golf content, he just stopped. He just quit. So ooh, maybe it'll happen today. He misses the par putt as well. So not as good of a showing in this group compared to our opening group, but through the four players parring. We're going to have three bogeys here. There you go. It's Caleb, Big Cat, and Jeff D. Lowe right, begin so with bogey. PFT, the lone member of group number two, at even. It's got to have him feeling good. So this group will head over to group hole number two again. We're going to stick with each group for their first two holes. No, no, if you go into Introduce you to them properly. So PFT has the honor at even. Jeff D. Lowe. Big Cat, That's what they were saying. Caleb Presley, I'm, all one over yeah, Paul. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Earlier, did, did not go in. I heard I went through, did not go in. I'm going to play safe. I'm play safe. I'm just saying, you can drop. Yeah, that's another hole. This is not the auto hole one. Oh, okay. No, it's not. Actually, yeah, so it's not. It spits out. It does not spit out very fast at Paul. It could go in, but it's almost not worth it because it bounces back. If it goes in, well, There's Jeff being a dork, talking strategy. It's just mini golf. Just get two. Just get two. Three. Uh, PFT. All right, PFT commenter goes left. 
We haven't seen anyone get through that clock tower yet, Nick. And here's Presley at one over. Now, Jake, I think Mantis is working up in that clock tower. And why's that? Uh, he just like couldn't that. get the job at Notre Dame. Can Caleb's ball hold on to avoid the penalty? Let's see. I can get Peter Rizzi over there, yeah. So he's hitting three right now. There you go, there you go. Now, Jake, you played this course yesterday. Yes. Did you make it through the clock tower? They were actually painting the clock tower. So it was, this hole was the only hole closed for maintenance. Is that a euphemism or was it literal? <laughs> it was literal. I know some of these guys like to paint the clock tower. So here's Big Cat after bogeying the first hole. Oh, no. Oh, like oh no. Go. Will that get there? Oh, yeah, he just lucky. gets I'm through. I'm putting like a pussy right now, Jerry. You got to fucking help me a mentally. Big exhale from Mr. Cat. I'm a Cat. mess right now. I'm already a mess. I'm already a mess. So. I just fucking short arming everything. All four yeah, players but that was bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Right now. Jersey Jerry, the caddy, clearing back, all the Jerry. leaves. It's the mental game. All right, so I'm going first. Doing a good job. Yeah. We'll get you a look Ball at our marker. scoreboard after these pots. Quarter, anyone got a, uh, that works. Jersey <laughs> Jerry with an interesting Thank ball you, marker, Jerry. Nick. It looks, like, it looks to be Free his vape. <laughs> yes. Some people use a poker chip. Some use a tea. What is that, strawberry kiwi? I don't know, but Bick had a chance for his first part today. And he gets it, so Big Cat All right, I'm back, one Jerry, over I'm back. through two. I'm back. Needed that. Needed Correct that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe oh, he started oh, slow oh. last tournament. Yes, he did. And he got hot. Chill. Here's Caleb. Stay one over. Nice roll. There we go, Caleb. He gets it. So Big Cat and Caleb both go bogey par, settling in a little bit. PFT can join Taylor and Will at even atop the leaderboard through two if he sinks this. Got it to go. PFT shot, looks PFT. really, really good right now. I talked to him last night, and I couldn't get anything out of him. He was so focused and ready for today. All right, Jeff Dillow, the defending champion, bogeyed the first and has this to save par and avoid going bogey bogey. And he does not get it to go. So sorry, Jeff D. Lowe, sorry, the Jeff. defending champion. Put this one in. Could it be the pressure, Nick? Starting bogey bogey if he makes this. Did you hear that F word out of him? The word fuck. Did yes. you hear him say fuck, Jake? Did. So Jeff D. Lowe at two over through two. All right, and let's take a look at our scoreboard, Nick, presented by Pringles. The eight people that have teed off so far. As you can see, Will Compton actually birdied the third hole, so he's all by himself in first place. PFT and Taylor at even. Dave Portnoy, not a start that he wants to have. Yeah, I'm afraid for everybody that's in his group, they're going to be catching the wrath. All not right. us, though. Yes. So Will Compton all by himself, the only player under par. And let's send it back to the first tee, where Roan is standing by with group number three. From Amateur Hour, Hannah Cook. Hannah Cook. Rap big smattering round of applause. Hannah actually came up to you, Nick, a few moments before we began. She said, what are you doing here? She did say that. She did say that. I won't make any jokes at the, at the risk of a company-wide email, Jake. A 25-year-old from Saratoga Springs. A frequent regular golfer. She has a handicap of 14. Is that a real quote? Yes, she did say putting is the worst part of her game. That's not going to work well for putt putt. You know what they say, Nick? Those are the putts you got to make. Don't you dare. From Moose McDuffie's, Trent Ryan. 
Trent Ryan, a guy nobody here really likes. Trent, genuine dickhead, douchebag, mean, uh, but also dumb, Jake. Nobody likes Trent. He does not have the ability to be nice, and he's weird looking. Trent, of course, on a path to break 90 on the regular golf course. Won't happen. If he doesn't break 90 here, Nick, let's just say it's the worst performance oh, in not miniature enough, golf history. Not even close It'll to happen. I, exp I want nothing but the worst for Trent. Par 43. From Borelli's, Frankie Borelli. It's a good classification there That's from right. Rowan. I knew Frankie was here when my water cup started shaking like Jurassic Park. He is overweight. Frankie <laughs> expected a better showing in the summer invitational. Most feminine face on the course, Jake. Playing with the yellow ball. And that's a solid tee shot. I'm finally in this group, Dan Rappaport. From Dumbo, Dan Rappaport. Dan Rappaport, probably one of the biggest sleepers in this tournament. He is one of, if not the yeah, best golfer nervous. in this field. He's below scratch. Yeah, I know nothing about him, so for his tombstone, I just wrote facts about the other Dan, Dan Katz. Yes, there are two Dans in this tournament. Boy, I really just didn't hit very Rappaport. Hard. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! Could it be? It is the first ace of the Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf Open, courtesy of golf. Dan Rappaport oh, wow. from Northwestern. That's right. Wow. All right. Holy smoke! Yeah. That's how you want to start. Everything's He's feeling perfect. confident. So now, who goes? So Finish Rappaport the records the first one in I'm, this I'm way tournament. And again, now the closest will oh, yeah. begin their get, park putt. Get the camera off, Trent. I don't want to look at him. Right. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so this is Hannah Cook. I'm going to make a five. Chance five. for Paul. I'm going to make a five. And she misses it right. I'll tell I'm you what, Nick. There's been a lot of players today missing the straightforward putts on this Still opening hole. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if it's nerves or maybe there's a little lip. But she's got it there. So Hannah I mean, bogeys just, the I'm, first. I'm the now Trent, your boy Nick, a long putt for Paul. Don't even joke about that. Oh. Trent hmm. also bogeys. Thank you. If you can Thank make you. this. Big if. Well, let's, let's wait for this one get too here. distracted by the Pringles on the ground. 20 of them scattered. Okay. Trent gets all right, the that's three. a good three. And Frankie I'll Borelli take that three all day. Thank you. be the Great only one. par. I was, dude. It's Surprise, Frank. He hasn't vacuumed up those Pringles with oh, yeah. his mouth. Oh, it's way faster than I guess. What if it goes on the side? Does it still go down or no? So in is an automatic hold one. We did not show Frankie's putt, but it was a par. So take our word for it. Frankie Borelli even that through the first hole. Place is that right? On to hole number two, okay. the clock tower for this group. Dan Rappaport the honor after a hole in one on the first. Oh, it's so bad. What? That's poor luck. Now we heard him yell, oh, that's so bad. I will let the viewer's imagination picture it because I have no idea what happened either. It goes through Dan. One of our 19 cameras on the course two. did not catch it. Dan hit a one. Good ball. I made a three. I know. That is Dan's ball, so. Is that Unsure if that was his first or second shot, so we'll get an answer for you on that immediately. Frankie Borelli. That's a, That's a son of a gun right there. Is going backwards, right, so, so he's OB. What's he at now? That's his third right. shot. Wow. Two stroke penalty. It's almost. It's almost. It's almost not worth it. It's almost not worth it. Unless you get through the clock tower. I believe he's the first person to do that. That's an Albeit the penalty. Oh, he gets rewarded worth it? with a solid shot, but not much of a difference. Nick. Not at all. Worth it. Not worth it at all. You could hear Trent saying that in the background. He kind of got the read from Frankie. Let's go, Let's get shot. Hannah coming off a bogey. That's a good shot, really. Not even trying to go through that the makes clock sense. tower. Through the pipe. 
but it actually ends up almost identical to where Frankie's is. Here's Trent after the bogey. Yeah, that's got to be it. <laughs> right, because uh -oh, on the other ones, it's a, a hole in one no matter what. Oh, it just sneaks in. And solid touch by Trent there, Nick. I know you don't like to see that. I don't at all. I'm so good. Trent, a chance to save par after bogeying the first hole. Just to stay one over. Whoa, that all was right, scary. Two. Thumbs up from Trent. Rappaport oh, yeah. aced the it's first, opposite. so he has a little bit of a cushion here. But first, it's going to be Frankie Borelli's yellow ball. Again, Frankie parred the first. We apologize for not showing that second putt. We're showing this one here. Don't apologize for me. There you go. He pars Four? the second. Yeah. Okay. So Borelli's even through two, par par. It just it makes no sense. And here's Hannah. I shot. Oh, it lips out. Damn shame. Damn shame. So a bogey from Hannah. And finally, Dan Rappaport. Again, he's one under par. Can he save it Good here? Point. Yes, he Good can. Point, he walked Dan. that one in. So much confidence, Nick. Oh, that's right. That could have made or broken him for the rest of the day. And he recovered nicely. So let's take a look at the updated scoreboard with three of the four groups on the feet on the course right now. Dan Rappaport even through two. Taylor Luan, the new leader, charging a little bit. Will Compton's dropped a few strokes. Seems like disaster struck for Compton there. So Four. still a lot of movement. And a couple of minutes ago, we're going to head over to Hole number four. This is yeah. a par two, Nick. Hey, Bob, this is one of the five holes go. with a hole in one cup on it. Automatic hey, hole in one cup. You hit it through that castle. It's an auto hole in one. That's exactly what happened to Dave Portnoy here. And boy, did he need it. Is that a castle or is that more of a troll's home? <laughs> no matter what, it's a one on the card for Dave. And the same goes for Taylor Luan. Putting up in the lead. teams need to look at that. He's still a competitor, Jake. So Taylor and, and Dave Portnoy with a couple of aces. And let's send it down to Roan, who's getting ready to tee off our fourth and final group. Guys, I'm here with Wit. What do you think about the group you got here? You got Kirk, Minahan, Biz, and Riggs in your group. I think the winner comes out of this group. Uh, that's my honest opinion. Biz and Kirk have a little something going on. I don't know. I think Biz hates him, apparently. And Riggs and I have gone back and forth. So there's some... I'm not going to say hatred, but there's a little animosity. There's a little animosity within this group, and I think everyone knows that we could win. 15K free bet. Biz usually bets 50 bucks on a game, so this is big time for him. Jeff D. Lowe was announced as the winner last time. Some chirps from the peanut gallery that it might have been a Mickey Mouse championship. He wasn't going against a stack deck. Yeah, he won like the Puta Canta championship on the PGA when the big dogs are maybe over at a major. So uh, I know Kirk was there, but apparently the course didn't suit him. Biz wasn't there. This guy can roll the rock, and Riggs and I weren't there. So Rappaport as well. So if Jeff D. Lowe repeats today, I'd be shocked. Jeff, you're not in Puta Canta anymore. Back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Ron. So Nick... This fourth and final group about to tee off, it's going to have fireworks. Biz, <laughs> Wit, Kirk, and Riggs. Your They're, boy, Riggs. My boy, Riggs. Riggs will win this easily. I think Riggs, if I had to guess his final score, I'm going to guess 18. Live. All right, we're live on hole number four right now. We saw a pair of hole-in-ones from Dave and Taylor Luan. Big Cat trying yep. to do the same thing, getting through that Trolls Castle, as Nick mentioned. So as a Trolls home or castle, you combine the two to Trolls Castle? Yes, why not? God, you got me pissed off, Jake. So through the castle slash Trolls home, an automatic hole-in-one. If you go under the bridge, similar to that second hole, it's no easy par Let's putt. go, Jerry! Big Cat gets through and That's caddy work! Takes. That's caddy work! That's why I fucking hired you! Yes! Acting like he's done it before. Yes. So Big Cat, after that on, bogey on the back, first back, hole, gets it back, back on the fourth. Back. And Nick, it seems like the trend we're seeing is Caleb tees off here. Sorry. Nice. You can see this group's updated standings. PFT actually struggled on the third hole. After parring the first two, he double bogey the third. Look at Caleb seven up like the soda, Jake. 
Like that delicious, refreshing soda. Not exactly what we want to see in this position, though. No. Unless he's Come thirsty. On, Jeff. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Jim so that group is awaiting to tee off on the fifth hole. But now let's go back to the first tee and our fourth and final group. Some heavy hitters here, Nick. Uh, no, there's a runaway winner here. Uh, he would win any competition, beauty, pageant, spelling bee, trivia, and especially mini golf. It's got, it's got to be Riggs here, right? It, it could be. Riggs, of course, one of the four play co-hosts, Wit and Biz. I believe they've won five or six straight sandbaggers on the Spit and Chicklets YouTube, and Kirk Minahan, a solid mini golfer as well. That's right. Uh, in, in actuality, this could be any of the four. Uh, but I'd like to go back to Ryan's interview with Roan. There's no way he knows what the word animosity meant. He does know what Punta Cana means, though. Yeah. Despite how he said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head to the first tee, Roan. From the case, Kirk Minahan. And he is the first player to not get one clap. Yeah, that's right. And I did write him a handicap, but I guess that did not make it through. Oops a daisy. He's actually going to walk through this hole. He was here the whole day yesterday. He was the first player to arrive to our practice round and the last player to leave. If it's one thing you want to do with mini golf, it is take it too seriously. The man won't see off till we're quiet. A lot of discussion, especially just for a perfectly straight hole. I think he was waiting for Biz and Witt to quiet down. <laughs> of course. Like Where's Jeff D'Lo to shush him? <laughs> yeah, they do. They're on the walls. They're right. Tune into the dozen tomorrow night live. I'm That's right. As well. All right, Kirk Minahan. Do you think this will be over by the time the dozen starts, or are we going to have to run over there? Sit down. Chip. It'll be the oh, no. Oh, no. Is that a penalty stroke? <laughs> It went oh, out, but back in. I believe you played oh, Isaac. Oh, that could have been a disaster, and I don't want to see what happens in the first hole. if that were to go out of bounds. Thank God he has slip-on shoes on. Fuck. From Spittin' Chicklets, Biz. Biz nasty. Of course, very good at geography. Knows that Colorado is in the south. Yes, yes. You could tell by the accents of the people from Denver. You're always searching for the gap. Right there. Yeah, got the down. Off the bank. Good shot, man. And nearly hits Kirk's ball, but he's a little bit this closer. This is a sneaky favorite. The six-time winner of the Sandbaggers Invitational. The 12-time winner of the Sandbaggers Invitational, Ryan Quitney. Ryan Whitney, of course, the founder of Pink Whitney, but has some feuds like with the Toronto airport. This one on a good line. Oh, no. Get off the wall. And all three players in a similar spot right now. And our 16th and final member to tee off in this tournament. From foreplay, Riggs. Nick, I know we're supposed to be unbiased here in the booth, but you're rooting for this guy to win. They didn't even put a handicap for Riggs because I don't think he has one. Yeah, rips left. Oh, oh. A couple of banks. That's a good pot. He's closest. And He's Riggs closest. will be the closest, so he'll hit next. The chance nice to save pot, par. And these yes. medium-sized putts, Nick, this then is what Biz, is going to separate I'm a, am I the okay? tenders well. and the pretenders, right? Yeah, Jake, you're right. They are going to have to make putts. There's no denying that. So here's Riggs a few feet away for an opening par. Good he gets it to go. Good Goosebumps. Goosebumps, Jake. A lot of Ways to the crowd of zero. That's Sam for you. <laughs> Biz playing with the yellow ball. Highly reflective shoes. Would you wear those, Jake? Yeah, they look awesome. I'm sure he's happy that you great, great vouched for them. Biz, great Biz with a nice par putt. Uh, Kirk, Kirk Minahan can, can roll got rock. very lucky on his tee shot. Nick, it went out of bounds, but back in. And you know what they say, you play the ball as it lies. I need a tee shot myself. I've been struggling to maintain. Kirk with nice pace to it. I don't so want to be the three only par guy so here. far. Let's see if Ryan Whitney 
can complete the foursome at even through one. And oh, oh. oh. he gets it to go. So four hey, players, four pars in group number four. Nick. What do you think? I feel like this was expected. I feel like these four are the best golfers of the door, bunch. Baby. So this group will head over to that clock prom. tower at hole number two, all, all, all at even, hole. all parring the par two on the first. Okay, and by now the we're way, gimmicky. you can see and Biz talking to the camera. Each of our brands are live on Instagram. So if you feel like you're not getting enough of a part of my take, you can go to their Instagram and watch the entirety of their round live. The same goes for foreplay and spin and chiplet. So we're going to be jumping around as much as we can to keep you in, in, in the loop on the leaders. But if you want to not miss a shot from your favorite personalities, you can go to Instagram live for those brands. What if they want to see us? You can stay right here. Cool. Thanks for joining us on YouTube and Barstool.tv. So the second hole, also a part two. Again, we see the two options, through the clock tower and under the bridge. However, as we pointed out in the last group, not much of a difference. But does this first group know? Or does this fourth group know, I should say? That's where the scouting comes in, and that's where the advantage goes to this man right here, Kirk Minahan, who has the who is the only player of this foursome to have practiced. Is he going to pretend like he missed it? Gets through, it's on a good line. Can Minahan get it? No, but he's a few inches away. A lot of Twitter accounts with 14 to 20 followers are very excited right now. Excellent. He kind of does it at this one. Biz now, playing loose, as always. Can ball. Can, it, can you move it back? He doesn't even try to You're get puppet. through that clock tower, but not necessarily the worst strategy. Oh, no. oh my. This has to come back oh, and play, or it's God. danger for Biz. Penalty shot. You can play it off there, though. He can That's play it off of there the if kick. you want. Technically, I hate to break it you to you. You do get a club it's where you length of the relief. hazard, which is oh, up here. Okay. This is a pretty brutal that hole number bullshit. two. Yes. So we'll see what Biz elects to do after Whitney and Minahan tee off. Or excuse me, Whitney and Riggs tee off on the second. So here's Whitney. He part the first. Oh, I think the scorecard fell under the bridge. I'll be. Hey, if that was there, he might have to do a redo. Jake, I don't know what's going on. I believe a scorecard no, fell still went through the on the course under the bridge of this clock tower. Whitney oh my God. just gets it through. Ooh. Let's see it where it winds up, though. That's not Forced his way That's what I get for the shot of the, the way pace so far or through one hole. I, I think thought you're that was very funny. Pace <laughs> got hosed. Hey, watch out for the hole. Watch out for the hole. So that's where Whitney's shot is. Great yeah, let's job zoom in on it closer. <laughs> let's get, let's see, part, see if we can see the dimples. Oh. That color reminds me of Barney. Really? Yeah. What? Why? The color. Okay. The magenta. <laughs> oh, he hit the thing. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jake. All right. So were, you know what? That, that ball reminds me of something too. that also shares the same color. Are you going to play off there or take What's your that? drop? So if you uh, put uh, it uh, Barney yeah. Jr. A Barney toy, oh, yeah, a stuffed animal of Barney. Biz, if you right, put it so down, you're the most intriguing skirt. lie right now is of Paul Bissonnette. As nice Kirk too. taps in that par after a tremendous tee shot. Now it's me. Whitney, a chance to stay even as well. Oh, that and he misses left. it left. Wow. So the first bogey in this fourth and final group comes courtesy of Ryan Whitney. Look at that magenta ball, Jake. What does it remind that you of? That broke left. Uh, uh, Anyone see that thing? Going I don't. I don't. I don't fucking know, man. So Whitney. Riggs never misses one before. over. Minahan. Even. He literally bangs. This is for Riggs every to four stay four. even. And four. Got it. And he gets it without any <laughs> issues. I think you. I think you try to make a three from right here. Because if you hit it off the wall, what if it? All right. So Paul Bissonnette's tee shot. Stayed on well, the cement, I I but he's going to play it as it lies without the penalty, Nick. So this is still his second shot. What a, two. a chance to save par. And oh, no, so this is saying. no easy Actually, bogey putt. three would have been the same thing. He'll recover. Uh, I have faith. Let's see if he can save bogey here. And that's wow. a big bogey. That is a huge save. A 
good recovery. So now you All right, let's head right. back to group number two. Our defending champion, Jeff D. Lowe, at the fifth hole. A par two, one of the more simple holes on the course. If you tee it off the bank accurately, you're in a good spot. And that's exactly what Jeff D. Lowe has here. Wow. Wow. A master of geometry, of course, because he is a square. Big dork. $200 Thanos glove on his desk. Jeff D. Lowe, after bogeying the first two, needed that badly. So here's where things stand right now. Taylor Luan and Dan Rappaport, the only players at one under par. But there's a long list of players right behind them. That's right. It's still anybody's game. Aside from, who is in dead last? Who do we have in dead last? Caleb. Caleb Presley, yeah. six over through four. But we have all 16 players on the course right now. So now we're going to bounce around uh, to some important shots and our leaders. So... The leaderboard will figure itself out. Again, the top eight of the 16 will advance to our second and final round, but only five shots separate the first 15 players. That's right. This is going, you're not going fast, huh? well, don't give us a 20 this minute time. Group out. number one, live on hole number seven. And hole number seven is a funky one, Nick. It's kind of like a giant ski ball game. If you get it through that red circle, it's going to be an auto hole in one. Okay, and how do you get it into that circle? You hit it hard. Ah. So that's where Taylor Dewan is. This is Portnoy. It's currently even through six, which is tied for second place. Playing the yellow ball. Had a smile on her face all day. Happy for her. Oh, no. They did a little oh, boy. soft. Yeah. Let's see I if see this hangs on. It hangs on, so no penalty no, for Mrs. Portnoy. She, she needs a little bit more muscle milk. That's all that is. That's not right. Well, she'll take her second right. shot because it's in the way of the tee box. Why are you intimidating my mother? Well, that was she gets useless. it through that yellow V up top. It'll go through one of those pipes. Oh, if it, if it goes in, then it would be a two. And she'll have a look I don't to know save why both. Oh, they're, they're Will is intimidating my mother. Awesome with the boys' Instagram as well, if you don't want to miss any of the action from Taylor and Will. So here is Will Compton. He's going to come back down oh. through that ramp. And he'll have I'm a makeable par putt, but it's not going to be easy. That's Every a doozy, Jake. Change the putter. Cotton strokes, cotton. Yeah, have everybody standing directly in front of the camera. There's my whole one? That's fine. I'm, very close up with I'm the not back. doing it for people at home. I'm doing it for inside. More backs. This could, this could be nobody here I'd be playing with. So this. Mrs. Portnoy trying Stop to save bogey here. Home. Spider leading the way as her caddy. She's lying, so she's lying. That's a good three. That's right. Okay, she, he's, she's, he's saying you're a liar. Yeah, I'm sure. Taylor Luan's second shot. He's even par through three. Oh, I just heard a scream. Yes. I'm sure if that's good or bad. Usually screams are bad, right? Could be out of excitement. Luan for par. And he's got his work cut out for him to save bogey. How about a wager, Jake? Let's hear it. If it was a bad scream, right. you have to eat an entire jar of Pringles. That's a good thing. That's not bad. That's fair. Deal. Deal. I'll be jealous. <laughs> we want to save bogey. Oh. Dodges a bullet there. And here's Will Compton's second shot. Yeah, close. Will's missing there. A little too much and some giggles from his party. Yeah. Getting that relief of the club length. Yeah, you gotta learn Jake, how to do it. Being that athlete. live drone shot we had, did you see the water park behind us? Yes, it looks like it's closed for the winter. I, I wouldn't mind floating down the lazy river with you. That'd Get a fun. little pruny. <laughs> Good layup. A layup from Compton. And he's looking at double, bo double bogey here. Chopping strokes, chopping strokes. No, he didn't. I, I, no, I root for Ooh, success. Words for Dave Portnoy. Ooh, 
This is live on Hole 6, sponsored by Curve. Presented by Curve. You have a chance to win $10,000 in Curve cash. Go to curve.com backslash barstool to be entered to win the 10K touchdown drive. Terms apply. Saw Jeff Dulo's ace a few holes ago. Yeah. Jeff has been playing for 50 minutes now, so you're going to have to wonder if he needs to go get a haircut. So here's a look at our updated scoreboard. Dan Rappaport, not only the only player under par, Nick, he's two under. I feel like a lot of people online predicted this. Uh, who would have guessed the best golfer is the best at golf? And how about Mrs. Portnoy leading the charge of that large group of players at even par? That was my pick. I feel good about it. Je Jeff DeLow, the defending champion, in 15th of 16 right now. Let's over to head over to hole number eight, where group number one stands by. Jake, you scouted the holes. What do we see with eight? Hole number eight is a par two. He's the, he's that the, that like the worst starter I've ever structure. seen. Off of the tee in but the hole. We saw Jeff Dilo get a hole in one on it. So the, around the hole, it looks like a volcano. Mm. And strength is everything on this hole. You don't want to hit it too short, but you don't want to hit it too hard because it'll float over. You can see it right there. Ooh. See, it was too hard, so it went over. You want to balance that out. That's the Sorry, I asked. Go hard and get it back up, probably. A little strategy no. talk there. Oh, Unless you go hard off this. Whoa. Something just happened on the seventh. So we'll see, check that out soon. So here's Mrs. Portnoy. At the eight. A lot of chatter going on in the backswing. That could be a hole in one. Oh. 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 Could this hold on? Hold on. Could it hold fall? on? It's there a hole it in is. one for Mrs. Portnoy. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe was it was, Jake. Will. <laughs> what a cliffhanger. Well, I mean, you were kind of that time. You were sort of. That's good. And oh, no from Will. Devastating. That's okay. He's still got a fake smile on his face. No, I gotta be every Compton. I gotta make the cut. Twenty-five-year-old from Missouri. On this course, everybody on this course. Everybody on this course. Nebraska. Did he Jesus tell you he's twenty-five? He did. Okay. I interviewed every player before this broadcast. Will did. Talk Why some trash. He said he's gonna dog walk Mrs. Portnoy, and that'll be fun. <laughs> he thinks the winner comes out of their group. Jesus. Will. I'm gonna time the next time you tell us we have to wait. Uh. Nice shot, Will. So these players learning through that volcano-like structure. What's your favorite volcano, Jake? Mine's Aconcagua. That's a good one. Thank you. Here's group number two at hole number four. Dan Rappaport, two aces in the first four holes. And what is that structure I'm looking at, Jake? Is that some sort of go troll with home? A mixture of a castle and a troll home? I think you're wrong. Spirelli. This has to be one of the easier holes on the course. I mean, good God. <laughs> Let's head over to hole number seven, group number two. We heard some roars uh, previously. It was because of this shot from Caleb Presley. Like that was good. Through that yellow V and into the cup for the ace. Very exciting. Nice ass smack. I bet you we could do better, Jake. <laughs> We're heading back to group number one at hole number nine, and this is the first look at our second Pringles hole. Each player has to stick their hand in a Pringles can and hashtag oh, get stuck in. I remember where I was when my hand got too big for the Pringles can. Sad day. You? So now uh, you can use your normal club. School, I was in class, munching on some pizzeria Pringles. So each player has to step up on that elevated surface and use the putter with the Pringles can. But you can use that, your normal club. She's going to get some relief. A little confusion. And then it'll come what? down a tube towards like, the rest of the hole. Like Mario or even Luigi. Oh, 
That bank oh, under a few inches for bogey. Ooh. I feel like we're we going to see that. some hole in ones on do this one, Jake. Yeah, because so here's Dave playing with that lefty putter. Oh, she's finished. Okay. Let's see if he can get that through the tube. He does. Let's see if it has enough power on it. It's going to be a little bit short, but he has a solid opportunity for par. Let's hope he gets it. Oh, he's got all sorts of problems. What? Why? Oh, all right. Where's my club? So, again, you only have to use that Pringles can style putter for your tee shot. Okay. Over here. No, I got it. Ramps up the difficulty a bit. Absolutely. How disappointing to find out there's no actual what? Pringles in it. I'm seeing what there's. Not ideal. There are plenty of Pringles scattered throughout the course. These players get hungry. Have some delicious Pringles as Dave makes par. Quick to scoop it out of the cup. So Taylor Luan is one over through eight. Does seem like a car is being broken into. Do you hear that? I did hear that. Might be the nearby arcade yeah. here at Golf. Why well, you move it closer though, That's Will? right. I was in there playing DDR. I mean, Taylor. There are. Guys, I'm being sarcastic. Plenty You're of water hole. slides and in arcade. Hole. There's bumper cars. There's Hank, bumper what is that? Tubes. He's in the hole. Behind the thing. A lot of fun here in Mesa, Arizona. We are yep. Yep. Missed. About he missed. 22 minutes from downtown Phoenix. 36 yep. minute drive from State Farts State Farm Stadium. <laughs> yes, in Glendale. you said farts. <laughs> State Farm Stadium in Glendale, where the big game is taking place this Sunday. Uh, you just made my day, Marsh. <laughs> This dude said state fart. <laughs> pick up holes. Don't worry about it. Play the play uh, game. Pick up strokes. I won't be going on the reel. <laughs> uh, send that one to me, please. Do you have updated? Was that right? So Taylor Luan tops in for bogey. Be careful what you say. <laughs> and now Will Compton at this elevated surface. Are his heels hanging off the edge? Very close. Could be a little dangerous. Big old thud. Taylor will. Plus three, including this hole? Croquet style? You get the relief. So we'll tap yeah, it in. I don't know how it's into that Pringles tube. That's Mr. P labeled ah. all, all around the tube. That's right. Oh. What do you think of his mustache? Yeah, it's a bad I think it's pretty big. I think he looks like he owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes. All right, so Taylor, uh, excuse me, Will Compton, oh, the bogey. He is just disheartened. Nothing hate to see him down. My golf game I'll have to cheer him up crazy. after this. Tell him a joke Holding. or something. I want, I want a timer on how long oh, yeah, Let's hear the front nine from our players' perspective. Did I not say you're going to love it? And this is, this is stroke three, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's falling apart out of bounds. <laughs> I think you're already out.
And we want to welcome you back. After nine holes of play, Mrs. Portnoy is even in par, and she is alongside Rowan at the turn. Yes, guys, I am here with Mrs. Portnoy, who is in second place right now, doing incredibly. How has the etiquette been in your group so far? Well, it's something I'm not used to. There's a lot of language that I'm blocking my ears to, a little rudeness. And other than that, it's been okay. What is going on with Hank? It seems like your group is at odds with Hank. He's slowing you down. He's speeding you up. Is it affecting your game? It could. I think it's hard in golf, too. You just hate to wait. So we're moving pretty well, I think. And then we have to stop. And then when we start, they tell us to rush up. And then we have to stop. So that's a little disconcerting. Yeah, that is disconcerting. And you know what else is? The way that Will Compton has been talking to you and your son, Dave, is there a problem with you and Will? It seems like there might be. I don't even know him. I, I've got to find out what it is about me that he's having a hard time. Um, he's very serious, and I'm trying to handle it. And he better not get any worse, or I'm going to really have to say something. Exactly, and you don't want her to say something, Will. So maybe get it right and get it tight. Back to you guys. All right, thank, thank you, you so, so much, Rowan and Mrs. Perfect. Portnoy. As we take a look at our entire leaderboard right now. Dan Rappaport currently, Nick, uh, two under through five. He's by himself in first. Kirk, one stroke behind him, and then four players, including Mrs. Portnoy, in third place. And you'd have to think she'd be higher if it weren't for all those swear words. Absolutely. So this is the top half right now as Riggs, Ryan Whitney, Taylor Luan, and Frankie Borelli round out the top eight. Looking at the bottom eight right now, Big Cat dropping quickly. Yeah, it's falling apart for him, Jake, and... Uh... You know, you, you really do hate to see that flub. See what you did there. Will Compton, by the way, in last place right now. PFT and Jeff D. Lowe. Jeff D. Lowe, again, he started bogey bogey, trying to climb out of that hole as we begin the back nine on hole number 10 for our opening group. And Dave Portnoy is stuck on the wheel. He's had some bad, bad luck here, Jake. A little contro controversy on this. Hit, he, so this par three, no, that's the inverted there. loop can, off the can, tee. Can you must hit no, it I'd prefer not to. Who's Why? up next? This is an awkward lie. All oh, loops are inverted, moron. <laughs> this was a bad shot. You really got to... I wish I knew that. Yeah, you got to crush it. Oh, man. All right, Will Compton. Okay, whatever. I hit it pretty hard. It didn't go anywhere. Again, he's had some words for the port noise today. We'll see if that backfires here. Will has the luxury to not fear for his job. A successful oh, that has a himself. nice bounce to it. Look out. What the hell was that? What was the difference between what? That why was that like Rudolph's ball? nose, doesn't it? Yes. That's that's my favorite red nose red reindeer. Nose, yes. What's your favorite red nose reindeer? <laughs> How did that shot okay. do anything differently than what You're my shot did? me today. <laughs> I got the good cues. All right, Taylor Luan. Again, Dave's ball is right there. Jersey if it's hit, him. he can elect to play it wherever it moves or move it back to this original spot. <laughs> so if you're him, do you want it to get told hit? A joke. Oh, man, I don't know. It is odd to see I Dave's ball right there rather told. than in Tommy's throat being gargled. <laughs> what? That's what I thought that one was coming off hot. Wow. Oh, he really hurt the red ball. The red ball going backwards. But again, if it's hit, what? you can go back to the original Who spot. Are you? That's assu I assume that's what Will's yeah, going to do. Right. Unless he doesn't know that. We'll, we'll he is Garrett, dumb. Yeah, and Garrett, can through through. With, Garrett can stick with him. So here's the water. beloved Mrs. Portnoy. Try to help you guys. No wonder he's even par right yeah. now in third place. For as disheartened as she sounded in her interview with Roan, she's sitting pretty. There's two back of our leader, Dan Rappaport. Two hole-in-ones in his first four holes. So here's Mrs. Portnoy at 10. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's through. Solid really pace it. off the bank. I got it. And she has a solid look. I got no idea how much. I did hear Big Cat in the background there. That's a good yell. All right, so Dave from this in my way, loop, which I've been told is inverted. Red ball? Is that correct? That is an inverted loop, Jake. Okay. Not to be confused with a straight line. So Dave with an awkward lie here. It does benefit him to be a lefty. If he was a righty, he'd be this screwed. Is for big trouble. Big, big trouble. Oh, 
Come back. Swan's going to skate by the hole, leaving him with a few feet with that relief for Bogey. It's great point. Great point. I forgot. Want me to keep Everyone's going or no? Hank. Hank, of course, the mastermind behind this. Yes, production. and if this does fail, I think he's fired. Maybe. That, that's just your, Would you try to fill in your shoes? Equipment. Would you be willing no, to take his job? No my, knowledge of the rules. Role. That's not what you said before we started filming. Wait, time out. That's just his equipment. That's Garrett. So I think there's some talk over the rules right now. I believe Will has the ability to move it back, and that's what he's going to do here. Ooh, that's a cool handshake. That was a cool handshake. You want to create one? I would like that. that. What should we do? You're putting a lot of pressure on me. Get out of here. How about a fist bump? Oh, we could do that. Dave misses the par putt. And it's another bogey. I for Portland. Fucked on that hole. Three over. Fucked on that hole. There's no way his ball's there. I don't understand how that ball got caught up in that thing. Can I have a I hit it a good speed and it did everything like their ball did. It strategizes the most. It's not right. Taylor Luan. A chance to remain at one over and stay in the top half of our leaderboard. This hole is going to right, get it out of my head. I had to play perfect to get back. If he drops to two over, he will evaporate from the bottom right of your screen on the top eight leaderboard. Moving up Biz and somebody else. Mrs. Portnoy has a chance to remain even. Nice putt. She looks good right now. Yeah, she does. Yep. I'm happy. Still even through 10. Here's Will Compton. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Not what you want. I wonder if something was said there. He looks back towards Mrs. Portnoy. All right. Ma, you're up. All right, let's head back to hole number four with group number four. Headline by Ryan Whitney. Some controversy here, Nick. Let's see what happened. Oh, my God, the ball moved. Oh, my God. Did he get away with it? Oh! <laughs> what is this? The ball moved. Did you see the ball move? The ball is stuck in the troll house, hey, that's Nick. that's a hole in one, guys. You never want your ball in the troll in house, Jake. Oh, Where did it get stuck? The door of the house. You can see it right there, the magenta-looking ball. He's, he's going to have to hit it from there. He's got to hit it from there for his second shot. All right, back to group number one at hole 11. This is Portnoy just teed oh, off. This and there's a guy. bank here he's on the wall. Guy. And then you have to go over the hill. So power is necessary here. We might want to hit it hard and hit that back wall. We're on brick watch right now, Jake. Here, here. Brother, brother. Smack the wall. So Taylor Luan was told by Will to smack the wall. This whole thing's under protest. Nope. That's going the wrong direction. Oh, no. That's a better line. Is a hill? Where the? Fuck! I didn't see that. Seems like Taylor and Will. I know they're podcast partners, Nick. It seems like they have some sort of alliance. It seems like they're caddying for each other, despite being an individual competition. Yeah, that's odd. Uh, a successful podcast, your co-host should hate each other. I hate Kyle. You know why? Why's that? Because he's just chilling at the hotel while I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, not enough power on it from Will Compton. That's the hill they didn't see? Mark that. Yes. Okay. He marked the red ball. So we have three players mark the red ball. who did not get over the hill. This Dave, the final player of this group to tee off. Let it go. They're going to mark that with a leaf, I believe. It's the only time Will will be playing in red. Falcons ghosted him. 
All right. You're 10 up in the air. So Dave hits that with power, and it gets over. How will the line look? Off the bank. Can it get there? There's no, but he's watch. in an awesome spot. Thank That's you. Thank you. Thank you. So Portnoy has his work cut out for him, but a lot of golf to be played. Again, the top eight of the 16-player field make the cut. Thank you. It's a two-round tournament. This is Portnoy very much in the mix. She is one under through 10. She is one back of our leader at two under. This is a small hole. I believe Dave is going to finish. Yes. So Dave. With All right, you guys can go. A birdie. This is a par three. Complain about the size of the hole. Maybe he'll move to a new one after talking about it on the rundown. I don't know what the hell happened. It's just bad luck. You got to play through it. So Mrs. Portnoy. They gave me chances for that luck. Gets over the hill. Off the bank. And it's got to hold on. Yeah, it's over here. It's a few feet away for par. There's some real animal. And Jake, if you right want to win this, you're going to have to have the least amount of strokes. He's brutal. <laughs> All right, so this is our first group on hole 11 right now. Will Compton. And this is a par three. Good layup. There's only two par threes on the front nine. On the back nine, Nick, that's there's a, five. That's the the back nine is definitely easy. tougher. It's pretty easy. No, you can't do that. Luan. Weird angle. Standing at like one over back. through ten, which is a tie for fifth place. I'm not on the course. You're in the worst position that I am. A lot of banter in this group. A lot of banter. Artsy shot. Probably did. Their shadows. Man, you can't get that. Here's Compton. The shadow right in front of him does not pose an issue. So he gets his par. And now a chance for his co host to do the same. Good putt. We got a lot of wealthy people on the course today. Who do you think the poorest is? No one's poor because they have the opportunity to play mini golf on a Wednesday. Nah, it's Jeff. I saw what he did there, too. He moved your shadow. He's brutal. He's a cheater. So Mrs. Portnoy will drop a shot here with her bogey still very much in the mix. Holding. And this group is through 11 holes. Let's head back to group number two. A couple of hole in ones. This is Caleb Presley on the seventh. We saw this one earlier. That may go in. And it went straight in. Yes! You know, Jake, I'm happy to watch it again. Pretty cool. Oh, he wasn't the only one to get an ace in this group. Here's Big Cat at eight. Get up, get up, get up! Yes! And it'll swirl down on that volcano hole. You just saw his caddy, Jersey Jerry, into the frame, and Jersey Jerry is out on the course with Adam Furrum. Oh, what's this here? It's just my curve card. Sorry, let me put this away. Great benefits you get on this thing. But, uh, Jerry, one of the benefits of having you around is you're going to be able to help your group and not just Big Cat, who you're caddying for. So how has this course been playing today? It's a tough course, fast greens, uh, not as fast as uh, people expect. They're pretty fast, but, you know, we got a little bit of a problem. Dan is uh, Dan's playing decent. He could be playing a lot better. He's just a mental midget at times, and we just got to get back to the basics. And, uh, you know, shout out Stella Blue. Oh, there he is. How's it feel hearing that from your caddy? Tough love. I told him to be as tough as he has to be. Jerry. And like a mental midget. There's been a lot of aces from your group, though. What have you been seeing on these lies? Big Cat has aces. Caleb has aces. Jeff has aces. What are you seeing out there? And, and where's it coming from to help everybody, not just Big Cat? Well, the thing that helped out a lot is I got a chance to play the course by myself a couple hours before. And I took some notes down. I got a bunch of notes. I don't know where they're at, but I mean, I got a bunch of notes here. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. I got a bunch of notes here, and uh, I just been giving it to the group. But if Big Cat makes the cut, that all changes. All the notes go to just Big Cat. Interesting. So there's a lot of gamesmanship, but for 
All right, thank you, Rowan. We apologize for the technical difficulties over there. We'll get that fixed. Let's take a look at the scoreboard once again. Some more movement throughout this 16 player field. And Kirk Minahan, the new leader. Wow. He's now the only player under par. Nick, I believe he's the fourth leader we've had today. A lot of shuffling. If you have a lead, it is never safe. It is never safe, but look at that third name right there. Your boy. One eye on the course, one right. on the leaderboard. <laughs> so Mrs. Portnoy tied for second place and looking at the back half right now. Again, only six strokes separate the entirety of this field, but right now it's Will Compton in dead last. It's ironic his name is Will because he's already dead. And you see Dave Portnoy charging a little bit. He's almost out of that second page. Again, the top eight made the cut, so after an atrocious start, Dave Portnoy is right back in the mix. That fight for eighth is going to be insane. I thought Caleb Presley threw in the towel already, and look at him climb. All right, let's head back on to the course starting their trek on the back nine it's group number two big cat pft jeff d low and caleb presley and big cat so jeff d low is now one over par again he started bogey bogey our defending champ now he's one over through nine so jeff d low settling in a little he is and i'm happy to see it he's the only player in this group to be in the top eight right now so they've got some work to do and as i said probably the poorest nobody's poor here what? All right, we gotta go. I need to look at your pay stub. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. Oh, we got some behind the scenes action. Yes, that's our hard working field producer, Aria. Great guy. Got the shadows clearly playing an issue for our players. Yeah, I can't see shit. All right, so again, this 10th hole with the inverted loop. It's a par three. You have to hit it hard. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Don't want to gets through all. cleanly. And PFT will have a good look for birdie on this par three, Nick. That's right. What do you think about the paint job on that loop-to-loop? -loop? Support in Ukraine? Hey, you, that's what you wore during the case race. Is that correct? That is correct. Check out and subscribe to the Barstool Yak on YouTube. <laughs> Speaking of the Yak, a former member of the Yak, Kayla Presley. Yeah, before he abandoned us without telling. Move to Florida to avoid income taxes. That's a great shot from Caleb Presley. You can hear his foursome mate, Jeff D. Lowe, commending him on it. Is that a piece of twine on the green? Either that, maybe a rubber band. You never want twine on the green. So Jeff D. Lowe started two over through two. He has won under since then, but this is a disastrous start to his back nine. This is bad. This is bad. Poor Jeff. He needs the money. So let's see where this ends up. And he will have a tremendous look for par. That's a superb second shot. That's because he's mentally strong. Jake, if you won that 15K free bet, what would you bet? Scorigami on the Barstool Sports Book, ah. plus 1,500. Is that a Jake special? I think so. It is on there. Bet responsibly, of course. The last Scorigami in the Super Bowl coming in the spring of 2014. 43 to 8, Seahawks over Broncos. Jake, I'm sure all the people trying to fall asleep were thankful for that factoid. Big Cat way too strong off of the tee, and he has been going to the gym on this trip to Arizona. It's clearly showing there. Strong like he likes his coffee, his Stella Blue coffee, Jake. Yes, and I believe you have a Stella Blue golden mug That's here right. at the booth. I'm drinking out of the golden mug to keep my pipes golden. And uh, if you guys buy Stella Blue today, you will be entered in the Golden Mug sweep, Sweepstakes where you can win a Blitz Arcade Cabinet. Fun game. Awesome game. I used to play as the Check Rams. Out Stella Blue. The Rams, okay, a little Marshall Falk action. A little Marshall Falk action. Sure. Bruce. Warner, yep. Corey Holt. Ricky right, so Prohl. Yes. So Jeff D. Lowe saves his par after that disaster of a tee shot. So he avoids disaster. Here's Presley. Again, he was in last place at one point. But what we've seen from our leaderboard updates, Nick, is they move along quickly. They're shuffling like the duo LMFAO, Jake. Party rock. That's correct. Love when I nail music reference. It's rare. You know their uncle and nephew. They had a falling out, though. Mm. Nothing to laugh about anymore. Yes. PFT misses left. But again, a par three, so he's not out of the woods yet. Hold my phone, Jerry. And it's good. PFT wearing his jorts. 
doing his best Cowboy Hank impression. Big Cat was very strong off the tee. Come Needs back. pace here. Come back. And he'll have about a foot for par. Take a step back. Jerry calming him down. Four ruins us. Ruins y'all. You have to get this. Terrible. Satisfying sound. All right, so Big Cat saves par. Have to fucking pick up strokes. On the par three. Let's head over back to hole number eight, group three. It's Trent, the bad boy of mini golf. Just, just call him what he is. He's a dickhead. Mean, mean boy. Off the volcano structure hole, it'll swirl home and an ace from Trent Ryan. That hole reminds me of those things you put a quarter in in the mall and they swirl down, donating to charity. Yes. Do you ever donate to charity, Jake? I do. Yeah, which one? Uh, shout out to Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Mm, I'm not buying it. We're live on hole number 11 right now, a par three. It's that one with the bank and then the ramp. We saw Dave's crew on it earlier, and Dave was the only one to get over that ramp. So power here is necessary. Do these players know that? Nice Caleb certainly does. Back. So you gotta just hit it hard it's right starting here. to heat up here. You have to wonder if he regrets wearing that vest. It looks awesome. Yes, everyone was complimenting him. At him on it earlier. Everybody loves Caleb. PFT trying to get back on the top half of the leaderboard. Come back. Good shot. Again, this is one of five par threes on the back nine. So if you're going to pick up strokes, this is the spot to do it in. How's your stroke game, Jake? It's solid. Hell yeah. Uh, gonna be home in Florida next week, so get to play a little bit. Oh, golf. Yes. Okay. What did you think I was talking about? Doesn't matter, Jake. <laughs> Swimming? Yes. Backstroke, breaststroke? Uh, <laughs> switch it up midway. Ooh. Oh. Again, that purple ball can move back to its original spot for PFT, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Here's Big Cat. With a solid Stella Blue Coffee and Roback collab on his shirt. It's a great combo. Good collab. Sounds like somebody just hit the jackpot on, in the arcade. Yeah. What's your favorite arcade game? Ski Ball's a good one. Uh, you ever played Colorama? I've never played Colorama. It's like roulette, but with colors. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. You can win a lot of tickets there. Yeah, I would always pick the white one because it was the smallest uh, option and there's the most tickets. Risk taker. I like playing deal or no deal. Yes, that's a good one, too. Oh, nice your disaster there for Caleb. So free relief here for... We've got two balls hugging right now. <laughs> it's big cat and blue, PFT and yellow. It's like they were meant to be together. Really is a perfect pair. Subscribe to part of my take. Great episode with J.J. Watt today. J.J. Watt, a huge fan of Frank the Tank Fleming. How could you not be? He watches his New Jersey Devils food reviews. What do his J's stand for, Jake? I want to look it up. I don't know. Okay. Do you know? Not a clue. I want to guess Jonathan James. Justin James. Shit. Half credit. So Big Cat here, a chance to pick up a stroke. If the round ended right now, he'd be missing the cut. And he can't get it to go. And Nick, you know what they say. Those are the cuts you need to win the tournament. It feels good rolling off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> Switch balls in the middle of the fucking hole. I didn't have the pace on that. So I that group that ball. about to be through Different 11. Ball. Jeff D. Lowe. Morale still seems to be high with him. Oof, but I don't know why. Let's take a look at the leaderboard right now. It's still Kirk Minahan at one under, but there's a trifecta of players at even par two of them, excuse me, three of the top four in that fourth and final group right now. 
Yeah, and look at Rappaport fall down the, the list after such a hot start, and then Presley knocking on the door. Yes, and this is the back half. Right now, if the tournament ended, these eight players would be missing the cut. The top eight make the cut, the top eight miss it. But again, still a lot of holes to be played. There's a very tight leaderboard. I'd say the only player in big, big trouble right now is Will Compton at nine over. Yeah, yeah, we do hate to see that good guy, awful mini golfer. Yeah, and PFT at two over, Trent and Caleb at two over, Taylor Luan, Frankie Borelli, and Biz at plus three. Big Cat at four over right now. Is it panic time for Big Cat? I just lost some time. I think he still has some time because we're about to get to some zany assholes, Jake. Not zany assholes, zany ass holes where luck could be on your side. Absolutely. Wait till you see what we have in store for some of these back nine holes. Plenty of par threes, some automatic hole in one holes, which will definitely play a factor. A lot of these players taking a look at the leaderboard, they're going to have to risk it all to try to make the cut. That, that just gave me chills. They really are. All right, we're going to head over to Roan, who's with our current leader, Kirk Manahan. He is one under through six. Yeah, guys, I'm with Kirk right now. And well, you characterize your play thus far? Pretty good. I think I'm in a good spot. There's a long, I mean, it's a long way to go. I mean, if I could, like, absolute dream start can ch change at any moment, though. Any moment. It seems like you're not the kind of guy who likes to look at the leaderboard too much. Well, no, you told me, Blattman told me, who I didn't even know was a real person until yesterday. And then you told me I'm leading the tournament. I don't, I got two people with me on this. I got myself, and I got my caddy. Jesus Christ. And he's always with you. He walks uh, side by side with you no matter where you go. It seems like there's pretty good camaraderie between. They're the greatest. They're the greatest. To get to play with Biz and Whitney is great. And then the guy, the other fellow there with the eyes are all over the place. Not one of the brightest guys. He's hanging in the best he can. But uh, no, I'd say so far, A plus. And I heard Jeff Lowe was like 76 over. Yeah, the leaderboard is very much in flux right now. Is there any talk if he doesn't make the cut? We talked about this before. Does he get stripped of his championship? He might. It might be another depression break. <laughs> I'm the master of those. <laughs> yeah, you would know. Uh, good camaraderie from Group 3. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you so much to our leader, Kirk Minahan. Let's over to, head over to hole 13. Will Compton trying to hit it into the Dragon's mouth. Jake, that might be a wyvern. OB and our last place competitor looks like he will be staying there. Jake, a wyvern is a dragon, but it, it has less hands. Oh, he's on the phone. He is talking <laughs> on the phone. Multitasking, and folks, this might be the end of the road for Will Compton. I don't think we have max out rules in this tournament, but we might need it here. This is a disaster. I believe he's hitting his seventh shot. Off to the seventh hole, Paul Bissonnette. Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's not a bounce. Actually come back. Oh, that that's just flew bounce. over the bushes. That was, uh, yeah, yeah, that might be a lawsuit if somebody's in the right spot. And that's a wealthy guy hitting you. You could take him for all he's worth. Check out Paul Bissonnette on TNT for the NHL. And we're back to group three live. It's Trent Ryan. Right now, he'd be missing the cut. But they're only beginning their back nine. A long way to go. You're going to be able to play as Trent in the new PGA game coming out. I will play as him and jump right into a river. Come on, do it again. Show yourself. So Trent currently Where's two over. He's only one Where's back of the projected cut line right now at one over. Frankie Borelli. Gracias. What's your favorite menu item at Borelli's? It's gotta be the chicken parm. Mm. What about you? I think I like the lasagna. Oh yeah. Or maybe the manicotti. No. It's a solid oh, tee shot on this par three, though. That's right. That and he's excited about it. One of few lefties in this field. Dave Portnoy joining him in that crew. You know who's also a lefty? Who? Me. Guess who else? You. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> As we dap up with our right hands. <laughs> yes. All right. Dan Rappaport was in the lead at one point. Now he's one over in danger of missing the cut. Oh no! no. Oh jeez. Oh. And he's going to be hitting his third shot. That's right. It's another tee off for him. The only tee off I want to see is Brandon Walker's wife and her shirt. Mega jugs, Jake. <laughs> Slap him around. Jesus Christ. So who's the closest here on the 10th? 
I'm still thinking about Brandon's wife. I, I, I didn't even know they were playing golf anymore. I like, I like it. You need it, dude. Borelli, a 29-year-old from East Meadow, New York, misses the birdie putt. Yeah, I'm surprised he can even see his feet, overweight man. He tried breaking that steel putter, <laughs> unsuccessful. That's not going to happen. Somebody making noise to distract. Oh, that was not close. It worked. Rappaport really unraveling here. Are we? Can you know, it's not like they golf life? every single day of their ball? lives. How could we expect them to be good at What's this? What's the ruling on that? So Hannah and Trent bowls within inches of each other. Thank you. Hannah in blue, Trent in magenta. Jake, you remember when you said fart? I do. You I suck. God oh. Oh. Three. Big sigh out of Trent. Three. Hannah with an awkward lie here. One of her feet is up on the cement. You literal blank from Hannah. All right. I made three. She'll keep up from that three, spot. Three. So. Okay. The par for her, that Can group is through 10 holes. And we're going to head over to group number four. They're on hole number eight. Our leader, Kirk Minahan, trying to extend the lead. I need my hole weight. This guy is good, man. Holy shit, man. He gets it to go. So Kirk starts off this group applying pressure. He does apply pressure. Let's see if Biz can follow the act. Biz has good pace to this one. And Nick, how about two hole in ones? Oh, this has to be the easiest hole in the world. Busy boy is back. So, so Biz, what? I thought that was too hard. I know, but you got to. And Nick. You know what's better than two hole-in-ones in a group? Don't even tell me. I feel a lot of pressure. Don't even tell me. Wait, I love it. I love it. And then you nailed it. It's a great spot. Unreal. How about three? Oh, my goodness. Just letting all the boys in. So three hole-in-ones in this group. Can Riggs complete the superfecta? Or will he spoil He it? will be unfazed. He, uh, this is a no-brainer. I'm calling it four in a row. You think it's going to be a complete hole-in-one from this group? Why the hell not? Can Riggs do it? Or will he let his group down? You know what, Nick? They call good golf contagious golf. And that's exactly what we have here. Four hole-in-ones. Four hole-in-ones. My goodness. So this group continuing to charge up the leaderboard as we head back live to group number three, the four play plus Hannah Cook group on hole 11. You all right? A lot of discussion going on. Glad I can't hear it. This group means business. That's right. It's a part Droning three. more than okay. Fasoli. I can salvage this. Rappaport taking his relief. Is that a hurry up? Come yes, on, Dan. I believe so. Dan Rappaport will actually be on site here in Scottsdale covering the Waste Management Open ah. this week. A rowdy tournament. We have Max Homa at the hashtag NAV house. Mm, doesn't like me. Does not like you? Once called me Little Dicky Stunt Double on Twitter. Why is that? I mispronounced his last name, Jake. How'd you pronounce H-O-M-A? Homa? <laughs> Brother, I was making a joke. <laughs> Clearly didn't connect with my end. The lefty Borelli. No! Not happy with it. Four. It's a four for him, which is a bogey. Trent did not get over the hill on his first Be shot. nice. But he'll have a few feet for par. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What could they possibly be deliberating? Oh boy. 
getting a little toasty, isn't it, Jake? Yes. Grass oh. starting to sweat. That's a four, yeah. <laughs> you? No, thank you for asking. <laughs> Figured yours will happen first. A lot more going on. A lot more mass. Oh, oh boy. Hannah. It's like church. I don't go to church. Yeah, but you got a lot of mass, brother. And it's holy. <laughs> In the middle. So Hannah struggling on the 11. Yeah, who cares? Just Whoa. heard a huge scream. I think we'll somebody was stabbed. We'll have to see what happened on the court <laughs> shortly. I know our hardworking crew in the truck is trying I'm, to decipher that. And we'll I must have been. ASAP. I think D'Lo committed seppuku. Jeez. Wow. All right, so some struggles there on the 11th for group number three, our four play plus Hannah group. That's a tough one. So most of the teams, excuse me, most of the players yeah, we're playing bad. done yeah. with their front nine. Let's see what we just heard. It was on the ninth hole on the Pringles hole. This is Kirk Minahan. Skate, skate. He made a splint. Fucking two. Come on! Wow. <laughs> Believe that was his second you. shot. Okay. It's still a birdie. Good recovery. Come on, get going. All right, so some more movement on the scoreboard. Kirk Minahan, a two stroke lead over the rest of the field. A five player tie in second place. Look at this movement. Early on, Caleb in dead last. Jeff D. Lowe, low on the second page. Look at him now, sitting pretty. And now you can see some new additions to the top eight. Dave Portnoy and PFT would currently be making the cut as we look at the back half right now. Will Compton just <laughs> getting worse and worse. <laughs> That's all right. He needs his rest. Let's get him back home. But you could see everyone else on this second page all within one stroke of each other. That's Anything right. Anything can still happen. That's right. It's going to come down to endurance. Who's the most hydrated? Who had the most money for hydration? And you can see the entirety of the four-play crew, with the exception of Riggs, on that second page. So this is the green on 13 right now, the dragon mouth hole, where Will Compton was on the phone earlier. Mm. We don't know what type of mythological lizard it is. It could even be a worm, a W-Y-R-M, which is a, nice you shot. could guess, no arms or legs. Or no vowels. Well, sometimes. Sometimes why? Yes. So Actually, W could be a vowel as well. Is well. that true? A E I O U and sometimes Y and W. Wow. All right. So we haven't been able to show you every single shot, but let's get you caught up on some of the biggest highlights so far today in this first round. Mrs. Portnoy oh, yeah, started things that. off, That's Nick, with nearly an that. ace. We, she started us off. She is responsible for the vibes throughout the day, and we are thankful. She's currently one over through 14, which is good enough for a tie for fourth place right now in good position to make the cut. And Dave Portnoy did not have a great start. That gate said no, Prez, no. <laughs> oh, Jake, I don't even know what to say back to that. I wasn't expecting it. Good work. You really recovered after staying state fart. Taylor Luan with a nice par. Big Cat struggled out of the gate, too. That's right. He still hasn't found his footing, though. Dan Rappaport was the first to ace the first hole. He was an early leader, but he's fallen down the leaderboard a little bit. I'm shocked. He reacted like he expected a hole-in-one, and he has not repeated this since. So we'll see if he can make the cut. He's right around that cut line. How little they knew how far he would fall. <laughs> so again, all 16 players are on the course right now. The top eight players will make the cut for our second and final round. You see the live leaderboard on the bottom right of your screen right now. It's still Kirk Minahan with a two-stroke lead. Big Cat on the fourth hole with that castle slash troll house. Through that castle door, it's a hole in one. Are they not even done with the first round? No, we're still on the first round, everybody. Jesus Christ. Is Caddy Jersey Jerry. Big Cat playing with the Stella Blue Ball. Jeff DeLower, defending champion. Had a slow start, but a big ace here on five. Couldn't be happier for Jeff. Good friend of mine. No bias, though.
Caleb Presley joined the hole-in-one party, too. That's right. I believe Caleb has over a million followers on Instagram. Now. Yes, go subscribe to the Sunday Conversation. Stephen A. Smith, Drew Barrymore, some of the more recent guests. Do you remember who the first Sunday Conversation was? I do not. Might have been Donovan McNabb. Oh, wow. Shout out Syracuse. Get up, get up, get up! Yes! Big cat with a big hole in one. It doesn't get old watching it tease the rim of the cup. I feel like they celebrated without knowing how easy that fucking hole is. <laughs> Trent Ryan on eight as well. I don't have anything to say. I'd say more than half of the players got a hole in one on this. I'd be more impressed if you hit it in that cup, uh, hit it in that little dome area and didn't go in the hole. This was Ryan Whitney on the six. If we get another highlight of that guaranteed hole in one hole, I'm going to lose my marbles. <laughs> like early barstool. And Will Compton said, mini golf doesn't matter, I gotta take this call. And the dragon mouth said, you're gonna pay for that. How important could that call be? What's more important than this? Kirk Minahan, the current leader, one of four players on this group to get a hole in one. Nick, your favorite hole, hole number eight. I mean, it's a guaranteed hole in one, and it just caused me to spasm. So Kirk, Riggs, Biz, and Witt all acing that easy par two on the ace. Very cool, fellas. Oh, look at that, it went in. Riggs joined the party as well. A fan favorite from our booth mate, Nick. That's right, good friend of mine. Future roommate. Fist pump from the four play co-host. And now let's go back live onto the course. Adam Ferrone is with Paul Bissonnette. That's right guys, I'm here with Paul Bissonnette. You guys had maybe the whole of the entire tournament. Your entire foursome aced the eighth hole what happened out there? Uh, Kurt, or Kirk, this is a K, 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 not a T on the end there. Uh, he led the way, showed the pacing, and I think everyone just followed suit. And I mean, right now, the fucking pace of the play right now is, is, is pretty intense, and uh, I'm just trying to keep up. And on this last hole, you kind of gave a layup to Kirk in that you told him which putter he should use, and he said that if he wins, you might get a cut. Yeah, I tried to uh, offer to split the, the gambling ticket, the 15K gambling ticket off the gun here, and these guys would not agree, so uh, a good deed never goes unpunished, and uh, Kurt's gonna hand me over 5K, you said? Five of the 10? Okay, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. We're gonna figure out the names before this is all over. Back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Roan. And to Biz Nasty, as of right now, he'd be missing the call. Let's take our first look at hole number 16. We have a giant pagoda. Wow. You hit it through there. You see that hole in one cup, that black cylinder. Yeah. You get it through the pagoda. You should get a hole in one, but it is a par three. And this is live on the 16th. Dave Portnoy, the first player to begin the 16th hole. It's a heavily themed hole. I think there's a spy balloon blocking the hole on the other side. You can go under the bridge as well. Have a decent chance for birdie. Dave gets through the pagoda. Where will it end up? Have you ever been in a pagoda? Oh, one, one. I have not. No. Mm. But it looks like climbing. Dave got a hole in Keep one on this climbing. par three and picks up a Keep pair of strokes. Climbing. Keep climbing. Dave did not pick his ball up. If this gets through the pagoda, it might have took a weird bounce. But Taylor will go under. So Dave didn't really celebrate that hole in one much, did he? No, because he still has some work cut out for him. Right now, though, I believe he's in second place. Through 16. I believe that moves him to one under. This is Portnoy right in the mix. She's two over through 15. Again, the cut line right now is three over par. Get through the pagoda, you have a good chance for an ace. At the moving bridge at the entryway. Ooh. Did it go in? Let's see where this comes under. The yellow ball. She'll have a few oh, it was feet on, for on birdie. Point. The timing was off. And finally, Come Will, on, Will. In. Again, some tension between the Portnoy's and Will Compton Be today. Be the one. Look at that. He has not given up a competitor till the very end. Compton. 
through. Hey, Will. And in for the ace. Nice one. There you go. Don't count the boy out. So a couple of hole in ones. From Dave and Will right. Compton. Hypothetical, Jake. Yeah. What if I have to piss? You can go piss. What if I have to piss? Hold it. <laughs> I, I cannot carry. <laughs> I'm not like. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I don't know how to work this machine uh, to talk to people. Uh, no, you can't piss. I've stepped out of like 50% of the last part of my tape oh, recording for poop. two minutes. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you're more of a poop uh, man. I, I drink a lot of water. Yeah, you're more of a poop man, too. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've stepped out for that as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Can't lie, can't hold it in. Let's get back to the golf, you sicko. Yes. We're on the bottom floor of hole number 16. We had two hole in ones from Will Compton and Dave Portnoy. Luan doesn't gain any strokes there. Luan that group started is off. on in their way to the 17th. Go ahead, Nick. Started off hot. Looks like he's going to get cut. Foreshadowing a little bit. All right, let's reverse hole number 12. Check out what happened to Frankie Borelli on this par two. The volcano oh, style oh hole. <laughs> That's what I want to see. That's the highlight of the night. It just stopped. How does that happen? Walk around it. Walk around I never it. took physics, but how? I don't know. I don't know. If that ball was anything like his face, a perfect sphere, Can he blow that would have rolled in. Can he blow that ball? I have no idea. We're live on hole 17. Our first look at 17. It's a par 3. Also has a hole in one cup. So you see that barrel on the bottom right of your screen. Just mm -hmm. cut off. There is a hole right there. That big hole. That will lead to the auto hole in one. This white cup right there will lead you to the bottom floor. Yeah. So the goal here is that big hole in between the two barrels. Oh, but that's not the end of the I lost hole. my virginity at 17. Got it. To a big hole. What about you, Jake? No comment. I think he didn't see the barrel directly in the center there. Shame. Oh, it's not how you see it. It's kind of like the Titan season. I don't want to say it, but it's like, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. Taylor Luan struggling here. Get, a, Get in! Big, got a can of Pringles there as well. Looks good. Again, you're seeing Mr. P at the bottom. The name of the mascot with that awesome mustache. Is there a Mrs. P? She's teeing off right now. Ah! See what I did there? That was great. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm in Look the cut line now. Hole. Mrs. Portnoy. Ooh! Ah! I feel like if that other ball weren't there, it could have bounced off and gone in. What was it? Will Compton We're, coming off know. a Where hole was... in one. Can he make a late charge here at the 17th tee? Again, those two barrels block the entrance of that auto hole in one. The safer route is in the back of that top floor, which will lead you to the bottom, and you'll have a decent look at par. What would you do in this situation, Jake? I would bank it off the side and try to get it in that big hole in between the two barrels, mm -hmm. like Will does right here, and oh, he gets it through, shot. I believe. Great shot. We have back-to-back -back aces from Will Compton. He, he listens to me. not giving up. Oh, is it back hurting? It's a great shot, Will. Back is oh, limping. yeah, it's the reason he missed one of our case races. Severe back injury, slip disc. Yikes. I know. But tough back. Crazy He's got two aces. Damn. This is Portnoy on the top layer. We're going down to that bottom layer. You see the tube no on the bottom left of your, of your screen. So she'll have a chance to save par here. It seems like Taylor Luan and Dave Portnoy have a similar look. A quick tap to go to that bottom floor. Taylor Luan for par. Time running out for him to make the cut, Ooh. and that might be the dagger, Nick. We, do, do, we don't like to see that at all. He, he's, he's wheelless. Poor guy. In. This is a disaster. Oh, are they right behind us, too? They're, oh, yeah they, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're on 17. And keep in mind, hole number one will act as our 18th hole as well. So they'll head back to that 20 Pringle chip hole. Oh, okay. Surprise, none have been stepped on. What a satisfying crunch it would be, though. Yes. 
Dave Portnoy misses really. the par putt. No, he'll head wrong, back to wrong even angle. through 17, but that will Gave keep him course, in a tie for third place after the slow start. Here's Mrs. Portnoy, a chance at par as well. This would keep her at one over. Nice putt. And she gets it. That's a big wow. putt for That Mrs. is a Pete. big putt. She's in the middling group there on that first page. Yeah, a very good spot to make the cut. Let's head back to the 13th hole, a par two, the mouth of the dragon. It's Trent. Oh, no! Oh, no! What? What, Trent? This is an, it's a max quad bogey. Is that what it no, is? No, I think it's quad yeah. par. It's hard par. So you know what they say, Nick? Bad things happen to bad people. Wow. Right there. Yeah, you're right. This is this is karma. This is perfect. And for those at home that can't tell, I'm saying this through the biggest smile. So the third shot here for Trent. Gets it through the mouth of the mouth of the dragon. Did it go in? No. Apparently it doesn't it doesn't come out hard enough. Am I finishing out here? Yeah. 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 And let's head back to hole number 15, group two, our defending champion, Jeff D. Lowe, who's even through 14. Gets the ace. Here comes the defending champ. Here he champ. comes. He's getting hot. Look at He's that happy. face. Look at that. Let's head back no. live to the 18th hole, which again is our first hole. So these players know this hole, what? the 20 way, Pringles chips I don't scattered it, throughout. Points. Right now, Mrs. Portnoy no, is no, one over it. through 17. No, no, I don't want it. I don't if want she it. can it's, par it's here, she will be in a fantastic position yeah. to make the cut. When you eat a Pringle, Jake, do you eat it this way or this way? Well, which which way is the People can't arc? see that, so. I wasn't talking to them. I would say arced up, the opposite yeah, of what we see right now. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. So the tongue fits no, we'll go okay. on the bottom. We'll How you. about you? I'm a bit of a rebel. I think it's more flavorful on the other side. Okay. So again, the first hole will act as I our 18th hole. You know, will Compton right now, thing. will, no pun intended, not be making the cut. Look at this scorecard. A roller coaster to say the least. Back to back hole in ones with two sixes right before. Unbelievable. This yeah. guy is just flip flopping, but that's why he's the best. So this Bad will boy. be the final Beautiful. hole for Will Compton. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dave Portnoy on a late charge. He's tied for third at even par through 17. That's a solid tee shot. If he can make that, he'd be an even 43. And after that, Awful start. He would love to see that it's three. Like such a That's joke. right. I mean, Matt, I'd probably be the leader. If I just practiced, I'd be in first probably. You like those shirts the bus and boys are wearing? Well, no, Two Bs I on practice. the chest? No, no. If I practice, I prefer I'd the part of my team. Right Coors Light Mountains or probably Blue Polo I'm wearing here in the booth. It's a fantastic one. How about you? You know what? I'm fine with my solid gray. No, not really. As you could tell, I was wearing a white one in the intro. <laughs> Magic. And merch told like me that I looked too really. unnatural. My lumpy body looked too unnatural. Great shot here from shot Taylor. He'll tap in for par. Great no shot. no fault strong. of the shirt. That's on me. All right, Dave, to have an even round, even par round, he does just that. He's, his confidence has to be really good it, right now. Feels it always is. worried about how automatic I am getting right now. Like he will most likely make the cut. This is Portnoy to that. finish one stroke behind her son, nice and mom. she does. As is the Mrs. Portnoy, Portnoy in a fantastic good spot mom. to make the cut. Now she will have to watch on the edge of her seat because there is a chance she's bumped. Speaking of bumps, I was it's okay. in the bathroom it's with Will okay. last night. He had a hell of a night. It's okay. <laughs> Just right down the middle. Yep. So look, kind of let, let him know you were here. Finish with basically a strong in a race pump. for last right now. And he's he has it secured. Right down the middle. Atta boy. Good <laughs> round. Fist pump. No. And then there's the back pain. The he's a warrior. After finishing his round. Sit and wait, I guess. Good round, everybody. He's going to need a morphine drip. And he is in a do lot it. of pain. For group number one, Dave Portnoy, Mrs. Sit Portnoy, right Taylor Luan, and Will Compton. We'll see where it all shakes out. There's a lot of golf left on the course, but I think I should make So here's a look at the updated later board. Kirk Minahan, five wow. under par through 11, rings at, rigs at two under. You see Dave in the clubhouse at even par. 
misses Portnoy right behind at one over. So right now the Portnoys are both in fantastic position, Nick, to make the cut. That's right, and a lot of people probably assumed Kirk would be six under by now, but it's five. And the boys both finish eight over. Taylor Luan and Will Compton, they will be eliminated. A shame, a shame for the boys, uh, but luckily they have millions of dollars in our professional athletes. I'm sure they won't be too upset. Yes, Taylor Luan, of course, making more than $80 million on the football field, a $15,000 right. bet from Dave Portnoy. He's seen those before. He, yeah, he's used to big checks. We're live on the 16th, the Pagoda Hole. Jeff D. Lowe just hit. That's right. And it'll dump out a few feet away. Jeff yeah, D. Lowe no, currently so in third doing? place. He's yeah, under par, joining Riggs and Kirk. Kirk with a three-stroke lead on Riggs. Kirk is five under, Riggs two under, Jeff D. Lowe one under. PFT right on the cut line. He's three over through 15. I don't know if he tried to go up in the pagoda. I want to go back to blue ball. Look at that water slide behind him. Looks a lot of fun. It does, but unfortunately closed for the winter. Kill the pink. That would be me if I was going down it right now. <laughs> Woohoo! That would be you. Yeah. Little bit behind, yeah. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, man. Come on, you're having fun. Don't lie. This, this isn't bad. The only thing better than playing mini golf is watching it. It's the same rush. Big Cat goes under the bridge dead. with his I'm Stella dead. blue ball. It's over, Jer. You know, you know what else is cut. under bridges? Trolls. No. Yes. Like on I home didn't pick up any strokes Hopefully there's anything. no trolls under that bridge. Telling you a riddle. <sighs> Jerry with the wet towel to keep him cool. That's good. Ooh. That's Kayla oh, Presley. Shit. I almost was standing right there. I didn't even see the hole. Fuck. And this is Big Cat up next. Jerry dusting off the green. This is a par three, so Big Cat has a chance for Bird. He needs it badly. Oh, he steps back. He didn't like the vibes. That's fine. That's fine. It's a thinking man's game. We all want to be here all day. Gets it to go. Nice putt from Big Cat. You know why they call it putt-putt, right, Jake? Let's hear it. I was asking. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Oh, that sound. Is the, is the hole mic'd? <laughs> it might be. That was fantastic. Here's Jeff Delo. The defending champion right now. One under par through 15. A chance to tie Riggs for second place. And here comes Jeff Delo. Three back. With two to play in this opening round. PFT needs this badly. He's in eighth place right now. A tie for the cut line. Get there. Yes. Good shot. And there's that loud hole. Very cool. Good shot. So I got to go for it, Jerry. So this group will head over to the 17th. Remember, mm. automatic hole in one if you hit yep. it between the barrels. Is this 18? You like root beer barrels, the candy? Not a big root beer guy. Wow. Yeah. Producer Hank, he is a big root beer guy. Yes. Always see him sipping on mug or A and W. You know what's good with root beer? Ice cream. Pringles. Ah, you're damn right. Find me one thing Pringles aren't good with. Exactly. You know what Pringles are even better with? More Pringles. Correct. Uh-huh. You're not getting me this time, bitch. <laughs> Jeff misses the automatic hole in one in the barrel. Slows it down. Could it sink through? No. Jeff D. Lowe again, tied for second place right now. He's three back of our leader, Kirk Minahan, late in this first round.
What are you? Very close overhead. So PFT currently on the right side of the cut line. Oh no, he goes out of bounds. This is a catastrophe. This is a catastrophe for him because he's come back right in. on the... It comes wow. back in. Wow. Oh my goodness. He's and... live. Wow. Find me any other wow. sport with this type of excitement besides football or baseball or hockey or basketball. Caleb Presley, currently four over. He's Get one in. back of the cut line, and Caleb. he gets the auto hole in one. Presley Caleb Presley run. with a huge ace to try to make the cut. This is bad for PFT. And right now, Big Cat is four over. The current cut line is now two no, over I'm going par. Left side. So what can he do here? Big Cat pretty much needs an ace here. That's right. Or he's in big trouble. You want me to take a shot or no? Uh oh, uh oh. We've go got right. some tension Watch with me go his right. caddy. No, right doesn't feel right. He needs this auto hole in one. Big cat not wanting to go right. Typical lib cat. <laughs> he needs it badly. Can he get it? Does he do it? Yes, wow. he does. That's why I go left. Big cat That's why goes I go from left. four over to two over. He's That's now why a I go tie left. for eighth place. Right back in the conversation to make the cut. And Jake, why don't you refresh those for? who weren't listening, not me, but yep. those who weren't listening at all because they're bored by your voice. Why don't you refresh them on what we do in the case of a tie? So in case of a tie, all players who are tied for eighth place will replay the first slash 18th hole once. The lowest score makes the cut. What that shot do for me? Yeah, you are probably going You two over par. You went from four over to two over, the hole one on the par three. So you have the 18th hole to play. Right now, you'd be in a tie in the, in the cut, on the six? cut line. On the cut line. On the cut line. Holy fuck. So you need a par here. Big Cat just came up. Jerry, we're in the cut right now. 18. We got to have 18. We got to have 18. We got to have 18. Jeff D. Lowe, I think he's eyeing that big hole in between the barrels ah. to go for the auto hole in one. He's going to pass up. Yeah, he's going to pass up the hole a foot to the left of him he just said he wants to win because if you get it in that big hole it's an auto hole in one i think he may be overthinking this let's see this is a big risk from our defending champion this is why he's champion jake this would be a birdie this would put him two behind kirk but a miss here would be catastrophic and Ooh. here it comes it backfires for jeff d low oh, oh no so lucky. That been so lucky oh man he overthought it, and look at the ease he did that with. Did he say worth the risk? He My did. goodness. So his D isn't the only thing that's low. It's his balls, too. He's hanging. So you Jeff right Low has that for bogey. Yeah. What's the cut? Where, where am I at? You're on the cut line. So if I just keep, if I part this one out. Yeah, what is this, part two or three? This heat is really, really cooking. So yeah, then go part. Thank goodness go those go jeans aren't yeah, pants yeah, go anymore. Go part, go part, go part. So PFT, he just asked what the cut line is. He's on it right now at two over. This is a par three. He got very lucky off his tee shot. It went out of bounds and came back in play. So this will go down to that bottom layer, and he is going to desperately need to make this long par putt. Jake, I can't even lie. It, 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 this it, it, is exciting. Now you're excited, right? Yeah, 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 rub it in. I, oh, Again, the projected cut line right now is pressure. two over par. We have no, four I, I, players I not to you wonder if on I that would be line. The lead if I didn't listen to him. People are saying this. Ooh, Jeff, Ooh, Jeff. This is a double bogey. He'll drop down to even par and a tie for third place. Like their actual app and PFT, this is to remain at two over and stay on the cut line. A humongous putt for the 38 year old. No! Gets it to go. Huge shot. And he Huge stays shot. on the cut line with one hole to play. And a couple of players who will be missing the cut, a couple of players who are in contention for last place, are standing alongside with Adam Farone.
Hey guys, I'm here with Taylor Lewan and Will Compton, and you could tell these guys are competitors because they're pretty pissed off right now. Yeah, um, started good in the front nine, man, and I, I, I probably got a little overly confident. The whole mantra was don't get, don't get too high, don't get too low, and I unfortunately... I just wanted to say, these two are the best. I love playing with them. Oh my gosh, wow. Well, how, how, how's it feel hearing that, Will? It feels good. I know hearing something like that, it makes you want to send her to Branson, Missouri, a good spot where they have some really good senior living. Um, I started off good in the first part. I, I didn't want to say anything. I did throw my back out in that second hole. Uh, I had to get a phone call mid one. It was super important, but I, I kind of just fell apart. I did finish strong, had a couple of home ones, but you know the saying, you owe the process everything. The process owes you nothing. So you think golf is a real sport? Yeah. Yeah, it's a real sport. I'm not, I'm not willing to take any stand right now. I don't if I would have won this thing, probably not. So, dang, you could really feel the resentment, but at least you made a new friend in Mrs. Portnoy. Are you guys pulling for her to win the whole thing? Absolutely. We will be out there heckling everybody for Mrs. Portnoy to win. Listen, she's a she's a true pro. Hats off to her. A lot of good mini golf in Branson. They're sad, but they're very professional. Busting with the boys. Subscribe to the pod. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you so much, Roan. Not a good day to be a boy. Not a good day to be a boy. Look how sad they are. Man, I do not know how they will recover. We will make fun of them for it, for this, for at least the rest of the day. All right, so we are now on the 18th hole where Jerry, there is where cut am I drop. hitting it? Big Cat and PFT are yeah. both two over par and most likely need a par here to have a chance at making the cut. And Biz is also in this group, so there is some uncut drama as well. I hate to break it to you, it's Caleb and Jeff D. Lowe. Oh, geez, my yes. bad. I just wanted to make that joke it's before fair. he got eliminated. It still landed. But thank you for calling me out on that. Yes. I'm sure everybody appreciates what you've just done to me. All right, Caleb Presley also at two over. So we have three players on the cut line here. Nick, this is pretty much a loser leaves town hole. A bogey here pretty much eliminates you. They're playing for pinks. Caleb. What a shot, Caleb. What a shot. In a good position. He most what likely needs to make that to keep his tournament hopes alive. Do you have faith? What a shot. I do. What a shot. Why don't you tell me who you nice. think is Real going to classy, come out of victorious, uh, out of this group? Classy, out of this group, Dick. I mean, Jeff Law is the only player safe of the cut right now. He's tied for third at even par. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's a big question mark for Big Cat, PFT, and Kayla. PFT. Needs something off this bounce. Ooh. Oh, he tried running it in. That's right. Jerry, where am I going? He I most need likely help. needs to make cat, that no, to ahead, stay Jeff, alive. Go ahead, I, I'm mentally broken. Again, Big Cat, PFT, Caleb. We have I'm big time broken. cut drama here at the 18th. The projected cut line right now is two over, and you can see three of the four players in this group are at that score. Jeff D. Lowe will most likely be safe of the cut, but he wants to get towards that championship, and he nearly gets the ace. That Pringle ship went along for the ride. you see with that Pringle? I've never seen a Pringle roll like that. So huge pots, the biggest of the day from Big Cat, PFT, and Caleb. Shot of my All life. Shot of likely my life. needing par, but first Big Cat's tee shot on the 18th. Big Cat's come up to our booth, and he's done meticulous math trying to figure out what he needs to do. And usually calm, cool, and collected. Jake, he seems a bit nervous. He knows exactly what he needs here. It's a par. Yes. Par two on this first slash 18th hole again. You say power, power, power 18. three times. I'm going to fucking smash it. Oh, boy. You know that. Tensions That's happened before. High. When you're you on say the power, 18th power, power right before I smash. Do you want me to smash? I've gotten royally fucked today. A huge shot for the co-host of the act and part of my take in the college football show and the pro football football show and pick them, the founder of Stella Blue Coffee. Wow. No! Long. Be a few feet away Long. for par. It's makeable. It's over. Aren't they all? It's he over. just said it's over. It's <laughs> That's over. where his confidence levels at. Uh, who it's does over. that remind it's you over. of? I can't fucking uh, Fleming. <laughs> yes. It's the biggest shot of my life. No chance at par. Another blown opportunity. No. Jeff D. Lowe to be in the clubhouse at even, and he is after a bogey bogey start. Jeff D. Lowe shots here and there. Fuck me so bad. Is even. Through 18, he will make the cut. What happened there? Did I go too Caleb hard? Caleb Presley to stay at two over. Power, he does. Power, power. We lot could be seeing him pressure. in a playoff. Yes. A lot of pressure. So now Mrs. Portnoy and Caleb both in the clubhouse at two over par, the projected cut line. 
I used to hate it when people cut me in line, Jake. PFT needs this to most likely have a chance at the cut with the Pringle to his left. He got it. Wow. Pressure filled putts from this group. Can Big Cat stay at two over with his tournament life hanging in the balance? Looks like there's some Pringle crumbs. Dan Big Cat Cats, a Wisconsin Badger, a putt to stay two over on 18. And he is taking a walk. He wants to clear the mind here, Nick. What's going through his head right now? I, I couldn't even begin to imagine, Jake. I would be in shambles. I'm sure the viewers at home, like Lil Sasquatch, are, are, are nervous as well watching along. It's about four feet to save par, potentially make the cut. Oh. Nah, I mean, that's fucking bullshit. I sucked. Oh. Catastrophic, Jake. Catastrophic. There goes his putter. We beat and potentially, there goes his putter. Like Big Cat. In How the do I miss house. that? At three over par, his caddy jersey, Jerry, unhappy as well. And Big Cat will most likely need a miracle to make the cut, Nick. Yeah. That All right, so scorecard. group number two in the clubhouse. We'll head back to group number three on the 15th hole with that red metal yes! line, Frankie Borelli, an ace. Yeah, this is another easy one. I, I, I don't really care. Hannah Cook, an ace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is guaranteed. This is, this is baloney, Jake. <laughs> Trent Ryan gets it to go. Yeah, go figure. And Nick, would you believe it? For the second time today, the entire group gets a hole in one on the same hole. Come on. I think this is easier than just walking up and dropping it in the hole. So good vibes in the four play crew on hole number 15. They continue to charge up the leaderboard. And now we're going to go live to the four play group on hole number 16, the Pagoda hole. Yeah, this hole is more confusing Frankie than a Jeff Frankie Borelli right Instagram now has some up. work <laughs> for him okay. to make the cut. It's a controversy, that's real controversy. <laughs> some controversy happening behind us, Jake. A little math problem. I think you can hear it over the broadcast. All right. Frankie, you're good? All right. That's a zany All right. bird. What kind of bird is that? Jake had to go take a pee. Putting all the pressure on me. I'm here. And he's back. He peed outside, <laughs> which is a misdemeanor. You're right next to a playground. That could put you on a list. There's Trent How did mine fall off? Like, entering the pagoda. Uh, that's, I mean, that's like mine going Trent to the dragon's mount coming back at me. Right now, the projected cut line at two over par. You hear that bird? Yeah, that thing's crazy. Cool. Yeah, Thank Dan Rappaport was our early leader. Right now, he would not be making the cut. Somebody tweet me the identity of that bird. I'd love to know. Some enthusiasts. You think there's people out there who can identify birds based Certainly. on their Certainly. Certainly, you know, bird, bird watching is completely uh, honor based. Yeah, you check off if you saw it, and nobody questions. All right. So again, two of the four groups are in the clubhouse right now. I think Big Cat and Jerry are going to chirp the other players to try to get them to choke so that Big Cat can make the oh, cut. Oh, not done work. yet. That'll yes. work. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have to have some extra eyeballs Good on two. groups three and four. Again, the projected cut line at two over par. <laughs> and we've got something interesting. We've got some controversy here, Nick. Let's listen in. Along the cement, hits the no, no, hold on. On the cement. No, basically, he was about to roll into here and then hit his foot. I didn't, 
Wait, time out. Did, what did I just say that was incorrect? You said it was rolling on the concrete. You didn't mention it was going back it was in. On the concrete. Someone told me what happened. It wasn't the ball, the it, I'm trying. The ball was out of bouncing along the cement, hit the cameraman. That's Whitney wants that game. not to be. He, he doesn't want that to be a penalty. He's out of bounds. Jake, exactly. All right. All right. I have no idea. All right. Out of bounds. Has Jerry, to be out of bounds. Jerry, Jerry. Get a side out of bounds. Roll over there to try to decide the cipher what's going on. Yeah, you're hitting my third. You're hitting my third. Out of bounds. You guys are scumbags. I always had a scumbag. You guys are scumbags. Oh, Two thirds of the field. There's oh, Rome. Rome, what's going on right now in 14? No, so what no, happened was no, Witt no, just hit a shot no, no, and it wound no, no, up hitting no, 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 a cameraman. No, no, no. They're trying to figure oh, out if there was in no, in interference no, no, or not, no, 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 and it's absolute mind. pandemonium between this foursome. What's going on right now? What's happening right now? Explain. Witt went out of bounds, but now I'm understanding that you can mark the ball on the fairway on this specific hole, and people are fucking going mental. It's pandemonium. If we want to do that next hole, if we want to do that next hole, fine. No chance right now. Dave shouldn't even be here, but he is. And now he's just stirring the pot. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! First of all, we've been doing this for the. We're not doing this market thing. We've been doing the first fucking 14 yeah, minutes. We're not I'm changing saying. that. A. Doesn't he run the company? I don't care. You guys don't that guy. Don't Take his market. fucking mouth off his mouth right now. Right. You're, 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 you're not even in the campaign. group. They didn't the four competitors do the, the rules. He's out of bounds. He's yeah, the one saying. Right. Right. people right. here. Right. Why are these people right. here? He says right. I can, you can mark him. You can mark him. Why don't you get your knees and suck his dick? I don't care. Why would you be able to do that automatically right now? Do it. Try to get the right rules. I'm going to do a I hit Fizz's ball. I'm hitting my third. Let's go, Riggs. Go. You can't mark it. Go, Riggs. You can't mark it. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do anything yet. It's just somebody who's the official rule person. Yeah, yeah I am. Hank, where's it's Hank? This is a no-brainer rule. No. You, you hit a guy Why out Why would you get a legitimate ruling from somebody? No, maybe you get a Hank is coming. Hank's on the way. Hank's on the way. All right, come in. Hank, watch the ball. It was my ball. It was my ball. I hit my ball. Now, mind you, it hit Biz's ball, but we're not doing marks. We're not shut up. Shut up. Shut up. We're not doing marks. We're not doing marks. So whatever. I hit Biz's ball. I go up here. This guy. What's your name, sir? To fucking Tavit. <laughs> Tavit, it is, bo it, look, my ball is rolling up here. Currently, I'm out of bounds. Biz is standing here. He says, yes, it was rolling in here. So I had no problem of then placing my ball, hitting two there. It went out of bounds off the guy's foot. It smashed the guy. So, so I want to I want to go where it would have been if Tavit, Tavit it, it, wasn't standing there. The ball was out of bounds. He was, he was out of bounds. It's so dead once guy. it's out of bounds. He hit the guy up yeah, here. But it, was, it was going in bounds. It was going that's like hitting the ball. Tavit's in the way. No, it's, it's out of the bounds. gallery. It's out of bounds. No, it's, it's not. It's out of bounds. It's out of bounds. Hold on. Have the rules official answer. It's out of bounds. It's out of bounds. Out of bounds. No, no. But he has to go. Let's go. We're done. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. A lot of Okay, but they're still see. figuring yeah, it out. Yeah, it looks yeah, like it's not done. On. Hold on. Now we're saying that we can mark balls if they're in the way, which I, we haven't been doing. That's up to uh, you. Biz's, Biz's ball was blocking mine. I would have marked it. I didn't. So if we want to start that next hole, it's fair. You can't do it now when we when I didn't get the no chance to do it. Mark the ball. No, 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 no,
You got to smash in this fourth and final you group. Just smash I actually on the fourth control. 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 control of this round. You just whack it. Just smash. I don't know how it's not now. There's a cluster. Yeah. As you see the bottom right, Kurt Minahan. He was livid. He has a three-stroke lead right now, and that definitely could have a stop in his momentum after what just happened. That's right. He was going. Yeah, no. It's a hole in one. Flowing effortlessly, playing great. Why are you mad at this? That's a two. That's a two. What a two. Three. We have arguments on the scores. It's a great three. Why That's a great three. There's an auto hole in one Why are you mad at me? And Nick, you can see that black V behind them. If you get it in that black V, it's an automatic hole in one. He's saying you're out of turn. He's saying you're out of turn. No, I was closest to the hole. So the black yeah, that was out of turn. You just went. Auto hole in one. Mm -hmm. TQ. TQ. Oh, oh no. I'll be honest. I have no he, idea what's happening. Here, though. I, I don't either. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's wow. got you their phones out. out. You gotta shoot that again. Come on, just enjoy you the moment. Big Cat has to love this. He's right now. He wants turn. everyone to blow up, and he's getting that here. Mentally, at least. Whitney does fall apart. This could happen. Yeah. A phone call. Wait, so Wick can just go this on a turn? Affect Riggs. It's crazy. Oh, Riggs right now tied for a second. Oh, he made it. Get in there. Oh, no. Uh -oh. This is for truck. This is the golf cart. You're trying cycle. to take that draw. What is he at? Get him. Get the scores. What is Riggs at? Why didn't you back me then? Did we lose sound? Did we lose the? Did we lose the sound there? Did somebody hit the the mic? The boom mic? There we go. Ah. Speak to the Riggs gets some relief, but right now it's Biz with that yellow ball on the left of your screen. I'll fill in for Wick because because my 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 analogy. Oh no! Yeah, I know, but my analogy. This could derail a lot of people's game. No, so if I hit somebody out of bounds, it stays out of bounds. That's all. I, I was out of bounds. Right, but if you hit a guy. Out of oh my God! This yeah, is that black V. Look out, this Nick! Look out! This could be going back to the oh, team. No. A disaster for Riggs. No, I didn't. I hit, I hit, I hit Biz's ball and went out of bounds. I hit Biz's ball and went OB. What are you? Are you hitting your fifth? Are you hitting your fifth shot this whole time? I showed up this whole time. Like everyone's great. It's gentlemen. That's what. Great guys. Everyone's getting along. Two minutes ago, you quit the company. You're lucky to make Jake, mind you, this is still the that's first fucking game. Oh, that's this is the first round. Right. Riggs trying so to get in that, that black five. V instead of whole. <laughs> you gotta oh, stop, oh, man. Oh, Just call it, that call it call it something else, pipe. man. I'm going to slip up here. So Biz is now going I am for four. begging you Riggs to say something else. Eight feet so let's other let me than ask that. If you're playing Metal a real structure, I would like that a lot more. Two angles. I would like that. I, I, it was either way, the person in play is in play. Tavit happened to be in a horrible spot. That's that's the moral of the story. Well, it's all his group fault. Wrapping up action on He's out of the ball bounces. And I got Jerry coming over from the clouds the telling me. The third group, the four play group, just I mean, finished, I believe. What, what did you I get you that caught on up on I their mean, final you, position. I mean, it, if you're playing real golf, it bounces off. It's like plus so three. You play where it bounces off. Bounce off you get so who do we have in this group so that I think could I just potentially be cut? Or is this so a right, right now, Kirk's the leader. Two. He's going to make Riggs makes six. Riggs, Riggs is in second place. It's a tie for it. He'll make the cut. Wow. Whitney is B for four. Two strokes to push it. one, I think. This would be a good for this hole, and then Biz has some work to do. Okay. Oh. Hey, you know, Listen. trying to get us to lift him up That's there. That's tough. Riggs 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 that, with that narrow of a shooter, should be one of those holes. Finishes out. I agree, but 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 for you trying to get it after I didn't, you know that. Exactly. So Biz completes hole number 14 with some controversy, to say the least. But now, while that was happening, Nick. There was some movement in the four-play group, specifically by Hannah Cook. Three consecutive hole-in-ones now have her in a tie for second place at two under. Holy mackerel. This is unbelievable. She's got a hole-in-one on the, the red arch, a hole-in-one on the pagoda. And then what's the following hole here? The barrel. The barrel. Double barrel. This was 16, and then on 17, Hannah Cook is cooking. No, oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> And she has boosted up the leaderboard in second place right now. Mm -hmm. And this is why she left it on her. Focus on golf. And a look at the scorecard. Hannah Cook, a happy camper right now. She's by herself. That was in the biggest place. scowl I've ever seen in my life, and you went with happy camper. 
three consecutive hole-in-ones, and now she's at 18. Can she make it four in a row to close out the opening round with some big-time momentum? Holy shit. She's feeling it right now. She is. And here's Dan Rappaport. Dan currently three over. He most likely needs a hole in one here to have a chance to get to two over. Yeah, no, and he will most likely be on the outside looking Dan, in. Get off the fucking service. Thank you. Frankie Borelli at five over. He is going to miss the cut. We just got to finish it. So Frankie, Trent, and Dan all in big trouble to miss the cut. That's right. The boys that golf for a living. Trent is seven over. He needs a par to not be in last place with Taylor and Will. That's what this putt oh, yeah. for the magenta ball. Oh, Wait. this would be horrible for Trent if he came in dead last. Okay. Two? Oh, that's my ball. Oh. Sounds like a little spat going on there. the rules? Maybe that's just her natural tone. Um, okay. D-Rap sinks par. So Rappaport. Hannah Cook. One, 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 two to wrap up her round. She's in second place. All by herself. Trent avoids last place by making that par. Oh, well. And Frankie Morelli will not be close as well. And he misses. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, they have to be a little embarrassed, right? So the majority of the four-play pod will miss the cut here at the Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf nope. Open presented by Pringles. So that leaves our fourth and final group. Okay, round. The only one well still yeah. on the course. And we're going to go back to group four. Hole number 15. Kirk Minahan, our leader. And our leader. I like it. Sit. Sit. He doesn't make mistakes. It lips out. Wow. Oh, he throws his club in the That's the first non hole in one I've seen on this. And Paul Bissonnette. That's so bad, though. The wheels are falling off. I hear Will Compton's excuses, even though he's not even in this group. And ace for Biz. Great putt, Biz. Biz, Biz, great putt. That gets you back inside the cut line. I missed the rail. I missed the rail here, and it was bad. We're live on 16 right now. Biz. What's Biz at? Plus so you should be rooting against him. He said he's plus three and he needs this bad. No, you don't. This is just mini golf. No, I'm tied for 10th at plus three. Things are pretty good. Wrapping up the first round here. Listen, the only thing I, I didn't listen to him and I got a fucking hole in one. Yeah, you stink at the Biz needs an ace somewhere to have a chance. Again, the cut line currently at two over. And now we're done. And that's a hole in one. So Biz, so Biz now goes to plus for Biz. Two? Here he comes. Wow. If I, if I, I mean, this is like, if you can't, if you can't hit this, you're gonna all have to play people just play. don't celebrate hole in ones like they used to. No, it's no, no, no. Biz moves what? from three over to one over. That's where Ryan Whitney is right now. now. I wasn't ready. Big Cat, you saw him to the side of the screen. I'll tell you he what, needs all right? a Whitney blow up to have a chance. That's a big ace. That's he a big ace. That's a big ace. Pagoda <laughs> and Whitney and Cat with the big time ace. Rank these Whitneys for me. Whitney Houston, Ryan Whitney, Eli Whitney. Thank I would you. say Ryan Whitney, I go back. Whitney Houston in the last one, with Pink Whitney tied with Ryan Whitney. No respect for the cotton gin. <laughs> you fool. You'd be this naked right this now. Hole still. Maybe a little fig leaf what of your peener. Like Adam. Kirk, oh, the leader. nice save, nice save. Heading to the 17th tee. So two holes remaining in this opening round. Where's this end up, guys? Big Cat following. Which one's yes, the hole in one? He needs a blow up from Riggs or Whitney, who are both one's this one, one over. Kirk. Oh, I forgot you had three practice rounds yesterday. You just heard Whitney talk about a practice round. 
it's clearly playing off for Kirk right now. Even if he has a three-stroke lead, yeah, and he was here all day yesterday. That's right, and it's paying off. Who would have thought? That was actually for the second. So again, round an automatic hole in one oh. if you get through both of the barrels. What's Kirk? My four on the scoreboard, or three? An ace here would put Kirk three? up to Kirk's seven minus under five? and a five-stroke lead. There it is. Hannah shot minus three. He misses it. Hits the Pringle can. Hey, Hannah shot three under. And here's Biz coming off the ace. Is this part three or part two? You know where this is, Biz. If you hit a hole, you can hit a hole one. Yeah. With an ace here? Yeah. It's an ace, they said. Big cat getting in Biz's head, trying, trying to get him to attempt the hole in one. This just seems gettable. All right, I mean, so you see I, our leaderboard right now. Yeah. This, is where currently this is where I didn't listen to Jerry, and I got So this is an eagle if you make it. On Hannah Cook. Man, <laughs> well, I Jerry telling you to hammer the bottom. Single right, cut. I went left. At Cash. one under. The current projected cut line is two over. Biz. And that is going Biz. to be Biz goes to even. an Biz. automatic ace. That's Look out, in. folks. Biz, back-to-back -back hole in ones on par threes. Unbelievable. I I think that's a and it was Big Cat now. that told him to try it. He reminded him that that middle gaping that hole that is a guaranteed hole in one. Biz just jumped Biz is, everyone. Biz, is Biz jumped everyone with back-to-back so -back so I, I think there's going to be like four people tied. It just went from one over to one under. He's tied for third. So even in. Even in. So... The top five right now, Kirk, what? Hannah, Riggs, Whitney, well, and Biz. Because that you don't put in the holes. That's what I was and talking one about. one under. Holes. You see what I'm saying? It's like there are holes there, like for the ball. No? Too bad. Here's Whitney. Made it too, An ace too, here too would put mistakes. him all by himself in second place. Too many little mistakes. Give it to me. Fuck and he misses you. it. Fuck you, you. Not a bad putt, though, from right there. What is that? I think about I mean, three ran to inches away? The second wave of the even, I think. <laughs> but you can hold soul. Too. All right. I quit. The, I quit the company. Did you miss? To one. So hang on. Worst player. Yeah, Riggs. I Again, thought he was, I thought he was yeah, out after five holes. The way second place the way by he himself. Talking. He misses it. The way, the way he was barrel. talking. Weeks. Listen, the way, but the way you were talking, way. I thought you were that bottom right. floor. I thought you were like, like you're, he was eating the probably our best would, golf. No, he was caddy for Dan. Yeah, he was caddy for Dan. Yeah, yeah I looked up, he was second. He was second. I'll have a chance for par down low. Jesus. Tough. Got a nice picture in picture going on. And finally, for Minahan, is he going to do what Jeff tried to do and go back to that? Giant hole in between like the barrels to try to get right a birdie. Now, it's my risky. oh my, it is risky. And for him with that lead, I don't know if it's worth it. He has a four-stroke lead. Not a four-stroke lead. He's trying to extend it. Oh no, it's a fake out. He faked it out. Yeah. He looked it down, and now he's gonna lay off with that four-stroke lead. If you're on the cut line, he didn't have a minute. But that's no easy putt. To stay at I'm, I'm, even on this that. hole. I'll stand by it. I thought, he was, I thought he was out. So, yeah, they all have, you guys all have to play. Nice putt. Nice putt. But now you got a long one for Whitney three. He goes down, and he'll Great have team. some work ahead of him to save par on 17. And a uh, water. Thank you. Whatever, yeah. You're, You're back in it now. Yeah. Up. So, what'd you end at? So, it's so gonna Riggs, be Wit. Now Biz in the action. You three we could see the entirety of this group make the cut. I think that would be great for the viewers. But it would also be funny if just one didn't make it. Here's Riggs, a par putt. He misses it. Two's in. a playoff. Riggs is going to drop to even. So now Wit and Biz at one under are tied for third. I'm sure Riggs did that intentionally for some reason. He doesn't fuck up like that. And here's Wit A par putt as well. Get in. Uh-oh. It's going to be a playoff. I don't want to put him in a hand to hold on to his four-stroke lead. You don't want to be in that fucking I don't want to say anything. The caddy's walking around. It's short, so he drops to five under. Now his lead over Hannah is just three. Riggs made a four. Maybe he shouldn't have laid up. What'd you say? I am just pouring it on the back. What? So this final group will head to 18. Final hole of this opening round. Back into the cut. This hole, what did you tell me? So let's take a look at our top 10 right now. Again, the projected cut line is two over par. If you're tied for the cut line, you'll play a playoff at two over. Kirk, three up. 
Biz all by himself in third place after back-to-back -back hole in ones. And as of right now, Caleb, PFT, and Mrs. Portnoy will be playing in a one-hole playoff for that eighth and final spot. And Jake, we've seen a couple of double bogeys on 18. It could very easily happen again. Absolutely. So Riggs and Whitney need bogey to make the cut. That's right. Biz and Kirk are pretty much safe. And if that's the case, we'll have three players for one spot on the eighth and final slot. Here's Kirk, our leader, at five under. A birdie. On 18, on this opening round, Kirk bogeyed 17. And Jake, you can hear it. It's an absolute frog as that is 18 pole. Yes. Much ado. Two is, the, is a play. Go, 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 go back. Go back. Biz back-to-back -back aces. He's on fire. He went from maybe missing the cut to now all by himself in third place. And Biz, a couple of inches away from a trifecta of aces to close out the opening round. What does it say I am? So Ryan Whitney, again, he's even par right now. The cut line is two over. So a bogey makes the cut for wit. So I'm at the quad. Am I making it? No, I know. I got to make that to get in, I think. Okay, not a gimme. My mom's probably like... I think if There's I the mastermind behind this Hank. Right. Yep. But, but now they're saying they Jerry, don't. Dave Portnoy is going to make the cut. That's right. Jerry, Good mother, Mrs. Job. Portnoy is going to be in that playoff. Under. Good for and viewers. Yes. One over and he made a hole. No, what? he's bad. Yep. He's Good. been trashing me. You don't want him. I'll help you. He is walking around the course. Here's Riggs. Riggs. He's like, man, that even hole. coming off a bogey again. He also needs just a bogey. Anybody will listen. But then he's been trashing me. I said, I'm like, I think it's a wee when you're the cat. He's like, well, he was so bad. That's real good. You're in, right? What do you end at? Is it three for Same. one spot? No, I'm out. I'm close. The first three holes, Who's I was terrible. Spot? I don't remember. Oh, that little, uh, yeah, I got a five on that. So to get in this friggin' second round, be a man. All right, so it's you versus Ms. Portnoy. All right, here's Whitney for par to make Plus the cut. Two. Come on, PFT. Yeah. No. Jesus but she was he needs next, this, yeah, and he still geez, makes yeah, it. If not, he'll be in the playoff, Jesus and he gets the bogey at one over. Is that the so playoff? Am I a playoff? Cut. Yeah, she didn't see those. Those were like yeah. spider, spider was yeah. pretty. Yeah. One spider over is, is safe. Oh, the my God. What an asshole. Yeah, but right, listen, listen, I'm in the playoff, but I was no, in if she, I made no, it. No, no, no. And here's Biz, currently one under, to stay in a standalone third place position. No. Biz will drop to even. There's a big cluster at even Wait, par. If he makes this, he'll be one of five players oh, I choked it. at even, and that's what he I is. It. That's right. So Biz drops to even with that cluster at even par. Kirk Minahan, our leader, will head into the clubhouse through 18 holes with a three-stroke lead on Hannah Cook. So the first round is in the books. And here's what is at stake, folks. Seven of the eight players are automatically into the cut, into the second round, led by Kirk Manahan's five under. We now have a three-way tie for eight, eighth place. Caleb Presley, PFT, and Mrs. Portnoy. Only one of the three of them will make the cut. The three of them will play that 18th hole once again, and whoever does the best will be the eighth and final player to make the cut at two over. That's time to call the Moyo because somebody's getting cut, Jake. So we're trying to track down everybody in the playoff. It's going to be a three-man slash woman race. Caleb Presley, PFT commenter, and Mrs. Portnoy. Three players, only one spot available to make the cut in this Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf Open presented by Pringles. And we want to welcome you up to the broadcast booth. He's Nick Terraney. I'm Jake Marsh. Thanks for sticking around with us on this Wednesday afternoon. So, Nick, this tournament has had no shortage of drama, no shortage of great golf, no shortage of bad golf. What's your biggest takeaway through 18 holes so far? You want to know my biggest surprise? Let's hear it. You said fart. I did you say You misspoke and said <laughs> fart. Yes. The gassy, smelly sound that comes from a butt. I did say that. But we have some bigger things to take care of right now, mm -hmm. and that's this playoff. Walk us through the minds of our three competitors right now. It's Mrs. Portnoy, PFT commenter, 
and Caleb Presley. Only one spot available to make the cut. Ooh. And Mrs. Portnoy almost once again gets a hole in one. She's due. She's due. And that puts a lot of pressure on PFT and Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> so much pressure on Caleb that I don't think he'll even show up. Yeah, that's the word on the street right now. Who is this golfing right now? This is Ryan Whitney. He's plus one. That's in. He's getting a practice stroke in. A lot of work. All right, PFT, you can get this. Can I move this? He's going to exhaust himself. So we're trying to yes, get. Are you in the? No, you're you're in. Things cleared up. Oh, I'm already. We in. have Ryan Whitney at one over. And he picked up. So he Whitney's picked safe. Up. Okay. So okay. Yeah, Whitney was saying Apologies for that. Relief. So to catch you up, it looks like Caleb Presley left the property. That's right. He was so, so nervous for this playoff. I think he got out. out. So I think it's now a two-player race between Mrs. Portnoy and PFT. So if PFT makes this, he makes the cut. Are they in for one spot? Good bounce here. How many spots? Oh. Oh, oh my god. A few inches away. Right, so PFT go. and Mrs. Portnoy yeah, both playing, playing yellow, again. ironically, in this playoff to make the cut. <laughs> again, oh, both players Tony's will remain at two over. They'll be the eighth and final competitor to make the cut. And if they both par here, they'll play it again. I wasn't even, play, I wasn't even in the playoff. That's what. So PFT gets his two. So here's what's at stake, folks. If Mrs. Portnoy makes this, they will play this first slash 18th hole again. If she misses, PFT advances. I think this goes to advantage Mrs. Portnoy. She's been hitting that hole like Kevin Portnoy. Yes, she has been very close to an ace on this hole both times. And if you're just joining us, this is a tiebreaker to decide who the eighth and final member of the why they who will be that? making the cut. It's between PFT hey, and Mrs. Portnoy. Kayla Presley was hey, with them, but he just disappeared. On, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Left without saying a word. What is this, the yak? <laughs> All right, so we're going to decide who's going first. Looks like PFT. I got Last year's second got place finisher, like fighting for his life. Yes, PFT and Mrs. Portnoy both two over. There is one spot remaining to make the cut. Take a step back. Here comes a shot. Get in. Oh, yeah. part two. Get in. Oh, PFT gets wow. it to go. A hole in one for Mr. Commenter, putting all the pressure on Mrs. Portnoy. Kiss the ball. High five the cat. Wow. And That's here's guts. what's at stake. That's guts. Imagine she she has Mrs. No chance. Portnoy no must chance. make this to avoid Dan elimination. Said I said you have no chance. If she makes it, we play this again. If she misses, PFT yeah. advances and makes the cut. Oh, another Pringles. Come on. Here we go. Okay. And this will be the end of the road for Mrs. Right. Portnoy. But Nick, you got to tip your cap to, cap to her. Just a tremendous job, performance from the rookie. That's right. I'm super, super happy for her. She played so well. Unfortunately, her day comes to an end. And you saw a nice hug between her and her son, Dave, who will be making the cup. But Mrs. Portnoy, a former varsity golf head coach in Swampscott, Massachusetts, a tremendous effort from her. That's right. And she got a nice handshake from Riggs. Mrs. Portnoy, do not wash that hand. Yes, so we want to welcome you up back to the broadcast booth presented by Omega Accounting Solutions. He is Nick Terrani. I'm Jake Marsh. Thanks once again for joining us. So the field has been cut in half, Nick. We started with 16. We are down to eight players. The leader, though, Kirk Minahan. He's five under par, and he has a three-stroke lead on Hannah Cook, who's at two under. That's right. He was minus seven, and now he went down to minus five. He ended this round kind of kind of cold but we'll see if he could turn it back on and get to where he once was yeah some other notables for making the cut dave portnoy after mm -hmm. missing the cut in the summer invitational he is even par and he makes the cut here with ease that's right i think he was coming into this one with a vengeance he was not happy about being cut he, he played it cool but he wasn't happy about being cut last year was it last year it was in the summer yeah. You see Big Cat behind us. Unfortunately, he was one stroke away from making the cut. He's rubbing oh. his belly button right now. Uh, and then that yes, group four. coffee, gold group. mug. Say it, Jake. We talked about the gold mug earlier. Yes, enter now. A chance to win NFL Blitz. The entirety of group four advanced to make the cut. But let's take a look at 
some of the biggest highlights from round number one. Have you ever had highlights? I'll switch back and we'll stay with these balls. Get going, get going. Skate, skate. He made a squint. Fucking two. Come on! Hey! <laughs> This is, That's nice. perfect. This is nice. That's perfect. That's perfect. Let's go. Let's go, Ron. That's 2-3 out there. You got to come out of this group, Ron. Hell yeah! Worried about you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything in it? Is there anything in your coconut? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, And welcome back to the Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf Open presented by Pringles. One round in the books, one round to go. The cut is complete. We started with 16 players and now we are down to eight. Welcome back to the broadcast booth presented by Omega Accounting Solutions. He is Nick Terraney. I'm Jake Marsh. Thanks for joining us today. All right, Nick. So the field has been cut in half. Right now it's Kirk Minahan with the three-stroke lead. He is five under Hannah Cook, right behind at two under. That's right. And Kirk came up to us and asked what he finished. I think he's so heated from that spat that he doesn't even know where he is on the course. And how about the entirety of our fourth group from round one all making the cut? Kirk, Riggs, Biz, and Witt all advancing. I don't think it's a shock. I think that was everybody's favorite going into this, and here they are. And what do you think of Dave Portnoy making the cut at even par? Not too surprised. He's got he's good at whatever everything he does. And he hired us. He did. And the defending champion, Jeff D. Lowe, mm -hmm. advancing as well after a slow start. He definitely settled in. That's right. I think it was some nerves. I think today is a big day, and he will always come to form. All right, so you're looking at group number one of our final two groups. The defending champion, Jeff D. Lowe and Biz at even par. Ryan Whitney at one over and PFT at two over par beginning their second and final round. PFT commenter made a hole in one in the tiebreaker against Mrs. Portnoy to make the cut here. So he's seven back of our leader, Kirk. He has his work cut out for him. You know what, Jake? I'm going to say it. This is the hardest hole. Number one slash yeah, 18? That's right. So this first group, Jeff, 
Diz, Wit, and PFT. Cameraman got a little dizzy there. Hope he's okay. Here's the defending champion, Jeff D. Lowe, at even par. Copy that, copy that. So we're going to have them go through two holes in the U.S. What's your order? All right, that's a little far. Again, Jeff starting off a little slow. A par for Biz. PFT being in eighth place right now, he cannot afford any bogeys. He starts off with a par there. He needed it. Mm -hmm, he did. Hey, what are you at, PFT? So these four players only separated by two shots. Jeff and Biz at even, Wit at one over, PFT at two over. That's a big par from Jeff. Impressive from Jeff. And he walked up there. He wasn't surprised by it at all. But that was a tough shot. So all pars there. All right, so PFT needs some birdies in order to have a chance. And that's a makeable two. It's a makeable two, but I'm sure he would have liked to visit that clock tower. Ryan Whitney, remember his ball almost got stuck wow. the first time out. He gets wow. it through. Give him some ball, Whit. Give him something. Not even worth it. Not even yeah, he's farther. Where he's farther it? away without. It's not worth it at all. Yeah. Where'd it go? So Biz just <laughs> got that read. Let's see if he just goes to the side. Oh! Whoa. Great oh. shot by our oh. camera, but it's coming backwards. Will it stay in play? No. I got there. Not great for Paul. So the third here for Biz. And this is a disaster for him. Paul Bissonnette, his fifth ground. stroke. Told me I fucked my wife. Jake, I didn't hear him. What did he say there? I'll let you finish. I don't even know. I, I, I was genuinely asking, Jake, if you could just do me this solid once. What did he say there? I don't know. Okay. Jake, who's, who's your favorite going into this? It's got to be Kirk right now, right? That's, that is so boring. <laughs> I'm so boring. I don't know what to say. I love PFT. Here's PFT to save par. And he gets it to go. Look at this deflection. Oh, double hit of the clock tower. Jeff D. Lowe has some work ahead of him to save par and remain even for the tournament. Gets it to go. Jeff D. Lowe is cooking right now. He can make a late charge. His mid-range is impeccable. All pars all around so far. Uh, except for Biz. And we'll check back in with this group a little bit later on if one of them makes a late charge. But for now, let's head back to the first tee. Kirk. Hannah Cook, Dave Portnoy, and Riggs. These are the top four right now, Nick. Nightmare blunt rotation, too. No, no. Everyone play back. So Riggs and Dave at even, Hannah at two under, and Kirk with a three stroke lead at five under par. That was his. Be yourself. Be yourself. The scattered Pringles. 20 of them to be exact. A sad sight. There should be eaten. And here's Dave Portnoy. Look at his little bitch walking behind him, Austin, filming his every moment. Dave will have a few feet to save Park. The worst, worst. And a cook in second place. Remember, she aced 15, 16, and 17 in the first round. Oh, no. Oh, she gets lucky. But that is not a gimme. She might be lying behind a chip. Come on, Kirk. 
the Kirk. And finally, our current leader, Kirk Minahan, 500 par. All right. The only chip I like to see on the green is with a pitching wedge, Jake. Oh, you're gonna like it. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Final round jitters. That's Leaves a, a little long short. Second shot. Oh, I got a lot of work too. You said it best. A lot of work for everybody. Riggs to remain even. He does. Nick, how are you feeling that your guy is still in this tournament? You know, right now I knew this is where he would be. I knew he would not get cut. Here is where I really got to start rooting for my boy. I'm sending him all my energy, all my vibes. I all hope right. he feels him. A miss here for Kirk. Yes. So he'll drop a shot on the, the first. Big shot. And that's what everyone else in this field wants to see. Kirk drops to four under. His lead over Hannah is now just two. Hannah to remain at two under. No. And she's going to drop a shot Either. as well. So if you like drama, you've come to the right place, Nick, because our top two players right now each bogey the first hole in this final round. That's right. You have to ask if the pressure got to them. So Kirk at four under. Hannah at one under. This is to keep David even. And it swirls home. Start chipping Dave away. Portnoy feeling good out of the That's gate in round number two. Portnoy, you fucking dog. Thank you. So Kirk at four under. Hannah at one under. Dave and Riggs at even. Walk us through the mind of Kirk Minahan right now. A three-stroke lead oh, that's at the final passing. round. How much pressure is he feeling? Which voice do you want me to be in his mind, Jake? Whatever you want. <laughs> I think he just needs to get right back on track, focus. He needs to realize that he still has a decent lead. Riggs gets through the clock tower. Yeah, Let's see where it ends up. Remember, there. sometimes it doesn't work out. That one had some oomph to it, and he's stuck in this corner. Never put a Riggsy in the corner. Dave Portnoy coming off a big par putt. Four behind our leader, Kirk Minahan. Skips. Goes through the left side, which not is not necessarily the worst thing. Dave will have about two and a half, three feet for par. Kirk bogeyed the first. Our leader oh, has a three-stroke lead on Hannah. Fourth management. Play it smart and win a tournament. There he goes. Smart move. That was intentional. And it dumps down to that bottom floor. Oof. Well, that's no gimme. No, it is. You think it is? No, I was going to say it is no, but I forgot to say the word no. It's oh. Fair. oh, no. Hannah oh. goes OB. Oh, this is a disaster yeah, for Hannah done. Cook. She was almost in the parking she's lot, done. Jake. A bogey on the first, OB on the second, and she is in big trouble. She entered the round all by herself in second place. Now she can drop up there, but it'll be her third stroke or just re-tee it up. That's what she's going to do. A catastrophe. A, a horrible start for Hannah. How's she even getting her ball? Oh, there she is. Now she's coming down. Dumps into the clock tower. Where, where is and so how is hers so much better it's than... on a nice line. That's usually what people would expect to see when they hit it through the clock tower. They're not usually rewarded like that. I don't know. So, a bogey for Hannah. That was a tough bounce on the side of the bridge. That was a tough one. I think she should have just been a little bit more gentle. Uh, I wouldn't have done that. Here's Riggs to save par. No. These, fe these players are certainly feeling the pressure so far, Nick. I don't know if it's the heat or if they just want to be home. Uh, but, man, they are falling apart. Some awkward shadows as well. As you see the leaderboard right now, it's still Kirk with a three-stroke lead. This par putt would keep that lead at three. Oh this boy, giving him right it's back. bogey bogey let to begin things for Kirk Minahan and Nick Terraney. This field just and he's showing that opened he wide like up. Hey, this got tight like a scared man's Sunday. butt hole, Sunday Jake. Guy. It's a wide open field right now. Kirk Minahan, the leader, goes bogey bogey. He's three under. And everyone's back in the mix. Only five strokes separate everybody. <laughs> can Ron hear us? Can Ron hear us? Can he give us a little wave if he can hear us? Does he have an earpiece? This is a wearing big a wire? Putt I, got I think so. I can hit this, cut two shots right off. Hey, buddy. Breathing down the neck. 
This ain't exactly what it's going to do right on now. This is to save yeah. that bogey for Kirk Minahan. And he gets it, so on, he will drop to three under par. Hmm. Dave Portnoy to stay even for the tournament. Bogey's how they say booger in Harry Potter. It's one of the beans Roger. flavored. Keep Dave coming, goes par keep par. Coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep he's coming. He's gaining confidence, Nick. More vocal than he's been all day. Let's skip ahead to our first group. Hole number four, the Troll Castle Hole. You, you know Nick, exactly what you're doing right now. It's it's a troll's home. It's no castle. Guess what happened here? No troll royalty. Guess what happened what here? What happened, Jake? Four hole in ones. Biz, Wit, PFT, Jeff D. Lowe, all AC. You know, I played this course yesterday to feel it out. Unofficial time, but the door is open on the castle. 3.71 seconds. Really? Yes. That's how long I could ride a bull named Fu Manchu. So these four aces by group number one in this final round definitely put the pressure on our final four. We're back live to hole number three. There's two ramps and a volcano looking structure. Jeff D. Lowe called this the longest hole he's seen Would that have gone in his in life. Think if it stayed up top, mine? Would mine have gone in, you think if it stayed up top? No. Really? What he said. Kirk That's Minahan. Speed. Ooh, no. Back really up. goes out of play. This is a par three, by the way, so a chance to pick up some strokes. Hannah has had a disastrous start to this round. And all four balls in a similar spot, but with, with this volcano looking structure, Nick. It's What's going on? The, uh, the leaders dropped two. It is. Dropped two it to is. Me through two. No, no. The leader was Kirk. No, Kirk, Hannah's done. Well, she's still here, but. Do you like it when they do the onion volcano at Hibachi restaurants? Oh my God, it's the best. It's the best, Jake. It's the only reason you go. I've never caught the shrimp they throw to me. Oh, come on. I have no, I have no awareness that. of where my mouth is on my face. A chance for Birdie here, for Riggs. Oh, it hangs on. <laughs> Riggsy, don't tease me. And he gets back to even. Dave Portnoy, a longer putt, but if he oh, has the right outside. finesse to it, he can make birdie. This hole. And right now, Nick, Dave Portnoy is by himself in second place. Oh, Ooh, but he God. doesn't make it up the volcano, Jay. No. A chance to save par. Oh, oh no. Kirk no. saying it hit, hit Dave's foot. Oh, oh boy, Jesus. this is a disaster. The volcano hole for Dave. This hole has killed me. Somehow Smitty's going to end up paying for this. This hole has killed me. So par, par, and then that for Dave. You will fly down a little bit. Hannah Cook. This hole has killed me. Trying to right the ship after a bad first two holes, and she does just so that. Scary. She needed it badly, Nick. She did, she did. She got back on track, but uh, is it too little too late? Probably Kirk Minahan not. desperately needs a birdie. It's short. Oh, my God. He needs to make this to avoid a bogey, bogey, bogey start. A huge putt on He's three for Minahan. Oh. And he is on the board with a par. He says he said, all right, that's fine. But I did hear a slight tremble in the voice, Jake. Does he mean it? I should be too down. So again, we're live on the third hole for our final group. I'm a plus combined plus 100 on that hole. Featuring Kirk, Dave, yeah, you're, you're Riggs, terrible. I just got to play my Cook. game. Right now, Kirk just saved par. So oh, you can see Dave. he's three under, but the lead blows up to three strokes. Here's Riggs. He gets through for the auto hole in one. Again, our first four players that we saw a few minutes ago all got a hole in once here. Nick, it's safe to say you need an ace here to have a shot. This, the, this hole isn't even worth talking about. It's a guaranteed hole in one. Let's use this as a moment of silence. Think of somebody dead. 
Just say somebody. Say a dead person, Jake. We'll do a moment of silence for him. And I guess it's a go. Who's on your mind? Uh, uh, John Adams. I just okay. Okay. George Washington. That's another dead. Yeah, <laughs> you outdead it. I think he's more dead. Off. Want to do it that off? I think you. Do. Oh, I'll take. Know. I'll take so Jesus. Easiest shot in the I think you win. <laughs> Kirk is through. That 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 shot's not that hard. Why did I think it was so hard? Nice stoic look on Portnoy's face. Oh, oh boy. Nick. There are eight players on the course. My right math now. on that. Seven must of be them had up. a hole in one on hole number four. Dave, the only one. I thought I counted. From his down, that is right? Tough. That is tough to come back from. One. My two. thoughts are with you, boss man. Love you, bro. So Dave with the penalty That's will take bullshit. a three, which is a bogey. That's bullshit. He drops well, down it right there to where it tie exit. for eighth yeah, place. All right, all right, all right all fine. Let's just go crazy. Right now, Kirk Minahan is feeling good. And let's head over to hole number six, presented by Curve. You have a chance to win $10,000 in Curve cash. Go to curve.com backslash barstool to be entered to win the 10K touchdown drive. Terms apply. PFT commenter. Good average, Jake. Thank you. Shout out, Kurt. PFT desperately needed that. He needs a run of ones to have a chance here. It's pretty much the case for that entire group. And now, Kirk and Dave, let's listen in. Come on. No, up and down. That. Look at Austin. That's easy. Like, I, I, PFT, you're up. Like, I repractice it. You can hit it pretty hard. Two of Boston's finest. Yes. Dave from Swampscott, Massachusetts. Kirk Minahan months. from Winchester. So you're looking live. A featured group right now. Thank God we have the lights on at this hole so they can see. Hole number five. Kirk's lead is three over Riggs. Where am I going? That's no easy par putt. You've had two of those. I've been looking up. Do you want to go hard or soft? A live look at the leaderboard. Kirk hard by three teams. over Riggs. Aside from that, no one else is under par for the tournament. Every time you say Riggs, I get a pang of jealousness. Dave Portnoy. Currently in a tie for sixth place. Oh, this is not a good shot. No, this is me. Oh, Talking yeah. amongst yeah. the groups, the chatter, the back and forth, the yakking has really, really come to a screeching halt. Kirk to save par and keep his lead at three. Oh, oh no. He, the door he left so wide open, it's my fault. He, he's not good, and I just couldn't take advantage and of And Dave saying some words after missing that par putt. Nick, oh, getting in his ear. So Kirk just bogeyed. He drops the three right under. Is. If Kirk continues to bogey, that opens the door for pretty much everybody. Yeah, no <laughs> shit, Jake. <laughs> so I'm here with oh, Riggs right now. making a charge. He's about to tee off on eight. Pretty easy hole, honestly, but people Man. are accusing him of cheating on the last hole. No, no, no. I took a four there. The one where I tapped it in and I missed it. I took a four. So what are people talking about? There are other fucking minds. I don't know. Like up and down. Feel like, like, is it getting in your head at all? No, because I'm an honest man. Like, you always have been, brother. Good luck on this shot. All right, fine. All right, thank over. you, Diz. Thank, thank, thank you to Roan. Thank you. Dave continues to have some words for our leader, Kirk Minahan. We'll have that scoreboard updated for you in a bit. But Kirk just bogeyed. So he's at three under. Dude, Kirk is. Hannah, a chance to remain two back of our leader, Kirk, with a par yeah, putt here. Everyone except me. And she gets Riggs. in. So what, Hannah, what, what, what is excuse me, with? Hannah's one I'm over. Riggs is in second place. My apologies. So Riggs, Riggs currently is two back. I'm telling you, I'm Speaking of one over, you know who's won me over, Jake? Let's hear it. You, brother. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah. You're a real treat. I just thought you were a dork with a fat <laughs> ass, but now I know you're I a know lot you're more than that. 
okay, you're a good ass dude. Not mess up. Shadows certainly going to play a factor down the stretch here, Nick. Just ignore what I said. So thank you. All right. Is anyone in the first group charging? Shadow is also one of the hedgehogs in the Sonic universe. Yes. Was he the red and gray looking one? Uh, black and gray, black and okay. red. Yeah, okay. yeah. I remember there was one with red. One of the cooler looking hedgehogs. Yeah. In my opinion. All right, so Riggs is currently in second place, and you can see the leaderboard kind of spacing out right now. Right now, it appears to be a two-man race between Kirk and Riggs. <laughs> oh, my boy. No quit in him. So we're teeing off on the sixth. Riggs one under. Yeah, I got a million. Yeah, it's five. Kirk and Riggs are the only ones under par. There he is. Jeff D. Lowe just went to plus one. Perfect form, perfect bod. This is a part two. That's looking good. Riggs. Oh, Riggsy. You tease. Very close. very close. Riggs was very close to putting the ultimate pressure on Kirk Minahan. And here's Dave Portnoy. Hey, you don't so deserve the lead. We didn't get much of a look on this sixth yeah, hole in the first round. So. We'll give you some info on it right now. It's a part two. That was just the mm -hmm. dumbest it's all about an accurate bank shot. Fucking You'll need some power off the tee. And then once you see oh as Dave's God, ball hits the bank, he enters that giant circle. This giant circle yep. has a six-foot radius, a 12-foot diameter, <laughs> and an area of 113.04 feet using the formula of pi r squared. Pi r squared. Thanks Remember that? The, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the ASMR, Jake. So here's Kirk coming off the bogey. Oh, come on. Come on, Kirk. Come on, Kirk. Oh. I think he's back. Short-term memory. That's what you need in the game of mini golf. Eighteen. So Kirk will have a clean look at par. And here's Hannah. You did it. A little short. She does not enter that circle with an area of 113.04 feet, thanks to pi r squared. Mm -hmm. Starts the par one. You have to get wide open. And I just didn't take it. Tap in. He almost there. Another one coming after a great tee shot. Perfect. They're excited for this. These back few holes, Jake. It is going to get I heated. Yes, I was so afraid of it. Hannah, a chance for par. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm. I'm so good. I'll bogey for her, and she is in big trouble. Dave, a chance to save par. He's going to need birdies and pars the rest of the way to have a chance. Misses to the right. How did any of these people make the cut? I don't know. The pressure is real. That's right. But this is good news for that second group we haven't seen much of. Yes, but we're still updating their scores live. And we're going to head over to hole number seven. Speaking of that group, Nick, Paul Bissonnette on the seventh, that ski ball looking hole. Oh, no. Oh, no, a doink. A doink off a light. Oh, jeez. Biz is going to play it off of there. Oh. He doesn't take the penalty. All right. That, that worked well. Yeah. All right, we're live on the seventh right now. That's what I did last. The clubhouse leader, Kirk Minahan. Kirk the leader by multiple strokes. Getting in that red circle, it's an ace, but he plays it safe here, Nick. What do you think of that opportunity? You know what, I would be doing the same thing and just let everybody else self-sabotage. Play your game. Just finish, the, just finish the holes. So Kirk Minahan's lead is two strokes over Riggs. Kirk's three under, Riggs one under. Dave nearly gets it in that 
red circle. This will still send it down a pipe. And close. Not too bad at all. Got it in. I was, I was right there. Watch Tycoon having himself a day. Dave currently in, tied with Biz and Hanno in sixth place. They're the updated leaderboard. That's live. So Kirk, two strokes up on Riggs. Jeff D. Lowe and Ryan Whitney right behind. And then there's PFT in the middle at two over at the turn. So that first group, we haven't shown much of them. We will cut to them if something yeah, big happens. It has to be. But right now, all eyes are on this final group. Kirk, Riggs, yeah. Hannah, yeah, and Dave. Right. Hannah, did she go out of bounds yet? I, I, I don't know what's happening. She's, she's up on the architecture. Yes. Yeah. Yep. She's going to play it from the pavement, or I don't take the penalty? She's taking the penalty, it seems. It seems like that's the good call. Who's? You're, you're and an fine. equestrian. Yeah, Jake, have you ever so ridden a horse? Pace. I, I, I have. On a while. Yeah? Yeah. No one else is on the camera. Arizona's the place to do it. They have horses here. So me. Ooh. Very, very close. All right, so Dave taps it in. He's going to need to run a birdie somewhere. Oh, we have a change in the leaderboard, yes. too. I'm sure we'll see that what, in so a few what, minutes what here. So, Someone from that uh, other group is creeping up. What'd you get? It's going into this hole. It was Minahan's minus three, Riggs minus one, Jeff Delo plus one, Whitney plus one. Jeff Delo has just gone to even. So big cut just Dave and Hannah, you're plus filled three. us in. Jeff Dula with a Hit big it. birdie. Wow, what a oh, Kirk, Kirk with a little with a hop step. Huge par. A huge par for Kirk to stay at three under and keep that lead at two over Riggs. Here's Riggs to stay two back of Kirk. No, and Kirk's lead has just expanded to three, Nick. Uh, All right. You're not talking shit on Riggs right now, are you? I'm not. All right. Why don't you just chill out a little bit? How about when he's on, I talk about him. So Kirk stays at three under. Riggs and Jeff D. Lowe at PFT even. And PFT a on a little bit of a run as well. He's in fourth place. Oh. You know what? Some of these guys might be camera shy. And they know the, the light isn't on them, and that's when they perform the best. So that first group of Jeff, PFT, Wit, and Biz making some moves. I just hate There's the updated leaderboard. It's Kirk by three. Jeff, Riggs, and PFT all separated by a stroke. All eyes are on this man right here. I don't Kirk know why I was Minahan, the 48-year-old like out of did. Harrington Academy. Close three, Up by three. Teeing off live on eight. Oh, it goes over. <sighs> the guaranteed hole-in-ones just aren't guaranteed anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's no easy. Those yep. volcano holes are very tough to figure out. Oh, I see what you're saying. You think I should go over it and come back? Who's saying that? Austin? How are you doing? Dave listening to his caddy, Where Austin, here. So we're li live on 11 right now. We talked about no, Jeff D. Lowe and PFT back. making a run. Jeff D. Lowe now tied for second. He should be fucking dead. <laughs> Hole 11 a par three. Get in there. Yes. PFT sinks that. Sounds like it's a two. It is. So PFT birdies. He is even par. Unbelievable. Jeff. Jeff low three, it sounds like. So now we have a three-way tie for second. Jeff D. Low, Riggs, and PFT commenter. The only person fading Jeff is his barber every three days. Minahan's. Three yes, that was a par for Jeff, a birdie for PFT. Who's five? Who's five? All so right, uh, Kirk PFT's up. still has a healthy three-stroke lead, but there are like plenty the of people holes, behind PFT. him if you were to falter. Wait, Sink when did this. you make a four on the other mountain? Sink this, PFT. Sink this. Sink this. PFT sink can it. really put the pressure on. This is remember, one of the hey, easier holes here right at 12, left. Nick. I think you just yeah. called it a Mickey Mouse hole. That's really... 
man, you're fine. You're fine. That's a, oh, the volcano makes it tough, but he's close to it. Did that, that move to the left? Is it part two? It's, yeah, it goes. Here's Ryan go Whitney here, at two over. Come back. Yup. Yup. Oh. That's the line, though. The FT. Yeah, that thing rips. That thing rips indeed. Thing rips. Busy. Give it the line. And here's Biz, three over par. Witt and Biz need a run of aces here to have a shot. And Jake, look around. Not a single smile. This is all business. Perfect yeah, speed. Be the right club. Yeah, you just <laughs> love that. All right, so chances for par for all four of these players. So I was, I was no, plus two. Excuse me, Jeff DeLos lost to go. Six. Jeff. So you're right there. Oh, jeez. What Portnoy? Just play steady ball. So a missed chance for an ace there, but they all need to save these pars to avoid disaster. At this point in the tournament, Nick, you cannot bogey this. Wit, no issues. Or live on hole number nine, Kirk. Hit his first shot with the Pringles. Get stuck in hole. His second shot goes to, to the one. left. Again, this is a par three. Oh, on this part? Oh, oh, oh. So he'll most likely save par. Yeah, yeah. And head yep. to the turn okay. with right, a left. three shot lead. Let a guy, let a guy live out Dave here. Dave Portnoy, the lefty. Up on his elevated platform and hand in the Pringle can. Oh no. I, I made Mr. it first. Time. All over. So we have word that PFT actually missed his par putt on 12, so he'll drop to one over. That's not what I wanted to hear. Dave will have that for par on the ninth. The only person looking happy is Mr. P that back there behind him. Yes. He actually has multiple emotions. You see him crying, laughing. And the second, the orange one. Look at that. And going back on the par attempt for PFT at 12, he needed this badly, Nick. That's, oh my God. Not ideal. Not ideal. We saw it earlier with Frankie. You know why it's not ideal, Jake? Why is that? He missed it. He did. So PFT drops to one over. You see on the bottom right of your screen, Kirk, excuse me, Riggs, his second opportunity with the hashtag get stuck in, Potter. This is a tough lie. He needs to hit this. Look at my boy being creative. Goes through. And he'll have that for par on the ninth. Hannah Cook. Started this round, Nick, in second place, but it has been a disaster for her. She is five over so and most likely out of it. An implosion, Jake. Ooh, is that a little Big Eskimo kiss? Is. I don't know what that was. We're live on 13. Come on, get some speed. Get some speed. Whitney needs some aces into the dragon's nice. mouth. And I'll have that for par. Sounded like a good two, you, and he got it. So Biz, Biz and Whit, Nick, we're at the point where they need hole in ones badly. You could say that again, Jake. Oh, this might go. This might go. Look at that dragon hungry. His things, it might go. <laughs> it barely squirts out. It might go. That was a trickle out. I like the optimism, though. I have PTSD coming back to 14. That's where it all went down. Jake, what's your favorite fictional dragon? Smaug? It's got to be. I think I used to watch Puff the Magic Dragon. Is that a. I bet you, you might be a little too yeah, young. Dragon You're tales? probably talking about yeah. Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales. That's right. Yes. Par for Biz. You're at 13. Back to nine, or excuse me, 10 live. Kirk Minahan starting his back nine with a three stroke lead. Oh, and that is a fortunate oh, bounce. Thought, 
Kirk Minahan a chance to extend this his lead to four. Great putt, Kirk. Kirk is the only Four. thing standing in between this finish and drama right now, Nick. That's right. That's it. Good All right, Slugger. Dave will have that for birdie. Not really getting any bounces. We're live on 13. Jeff D. Low. Yeah. We, we all did. got penalized in our last. We game. never did, did that. I believe Why would you this do is that? his That's second opportunity. I think this I is his third shot. Back to me, but that's questionable. There might have been a lot of guys who got fucked from that. Oh my God. Oh, no. What was that You're noise? Five now? We're going to look at Jeff's original tee shot. You can see the effusion, confusion. So here's what happened here on Jeff's first tee. Didn't get up. Oh, Did no. not get up. I'm out. And fell me. out of bounds. So I believe he'll be lying two and hitting three. No. Off the penalty. So here's Jeff D. Lowe. That's a good boy. Good boy. Uh oh. Now I was talking to the uh, owners of the golf course. If it gets stuck in that tube, Jeff would have to go to the end of it and start sucking. <laughs> He's gonna get relief there. Here come the excuses. Here you go, Dave. So again, Jeff D. Lowe, it took him two tries off the tee, so he'll drop some shots here. It's just a matter of how many. And that's Holy not great. Moly. He's in trouble, folks. He looks right now. Can I get a yeah, so it's Does that make Jeff? Minus three. Oh, what's going on? I believe Jeff D. Lowe even. Why is it five? Five. I have a to put him. Camera at the green. Is that Fasoli's voice? I don't There it is. <laughs> so we're live on 14. PFT. Currently two over. He's five back of Kirk. He's going to need a hole in one somewhere. He needs to get in that black V. Jake? Did it get there? No. Oh, boy. Oh, no. And Kirk has to be salivating. I thought I hit that salive, too. You did. I thought it was riding up the ridge. And then you get it. Hey, can you mark that? This is what happened. Business was there. I hit it. went out of bounds. Do you want to just finish this hole out? That's what we did earlier. So this group needs a string of hole in ones to have a chance here. That might be a oh, hole this could in be one. it. That's a hole in one. I'm back in the mix oh my of this God. thing now. Sliding into black V like Bill Burr. Hey, the black where, where, V <laughs> hole in one. Side, uh, right you Jake, said it first. Jake, That's Jake. right there. I got to go hose too. It's in the hole in one. Oh, wait. It got stuck in there. Can Biz do the same? I've heard his stories. He can. I can't talk. I think you're... Get going. Ooh, it's oh. short. It's short. It's going to go down to that bottom floor. Here we go. Going down. Watch out, Wit. Oh, no. Oh, it hit his foot. It hit Wit. Roll it in there. there. That's, That's not fair. fair. What, what does that mean? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. This is wild. I think he's just going to drop it in. They're going to play that as it lies. That's sportsmanship. This is crazy. Oh, it went oh in. my God! It went in! Oh my God! It went in! I think that's a hole in one. That is a hole in one. That was his first shot. <laughs> that's an ace for Biz. He moves to two over. A tie for third place. Wow! Unbelievable. This is why we play the game. Jeff D. Lowe, you can sense from his body language, he knows he's in danger of losing that title from the summer. No. Oh, and that's not what you want to hear. I know. Probably a little too Oh, PFT goes backwards, too. This whole group, with the exception of Biz, seems to be unraveling. Oh! Witt did get a hole-in-one, too, but Jeff and PFT are in big, big trouble. 
Goodness. He's going to go into that semicircle. Hey, what's going on <coughs> there, PFT? I just made an ace on that one. What did I say? So PFT commenter is going to plummet down the leaderboard. I'm in the hunt now. I'm two off the lead. I'm trying to. I he's he's. I think I'm he's hitting like five or six. I think I'm a lot of fiddling five. with the ball. Yeah, it's on a weird angle there, so you got to keep it. Got to dig it in a little bit. I think I hear the drone yes. too. So I'll be in third behind. Right this is still exciting. <laughs> There's our oh, drum shot. Oh, hell yeah. Where's that been? That's awesome. Oh, let's watch. Yeah. So here's PFT. It's been a disastrous 14th hole for him. Uh -oh. And he cannot get it in the black V. Instead, it'll <laughs> head down. Oh, sorry. I had a tickle in my throat. Well, it did very much. Ball. My ball got stuck. Never came out. Oh, there it is. I think it got, may have gotten stuck up there, but this is this hole might just take PFT out of the competition. Yeah, I think so, and I think I think he's checked out. Jeff D. Lowe needs to save a lot. Look There's at that. a start. There's a start. Don't say it, Jake. We all know what happened. Obtuse metal structure. Thank you, thank you, that yes. Painted black. Crashed into that metal structure like, <laughs> nope, We've got an update. All right, we're gonna head over to hole number 11, our final group. This is Riggs, second place right now, and oh. he is OB. Oh my God. This is like seeing your dad get beat up, just disheartening, Jake. Folks, the door is wide open for Kirk Minahan. Oh, fuck. It's all right, Riggs. I'm still proud of you, man. Kirk's lead is astronomical right now. I, he's, he's, the Mina I, fans have to be going wild at home. We'll get an updated look at the scoreboard. On 11 right now, they're moving on to 12. It's, it's going to take no one an absolute use. meltdown from Kirk no, Minahan for anyone else to have a chance here, Nick. But if anybody can have a meltdown, Jake, it's Kirk. Kirk Minahan, five under. You see Ryan Whitney at even. This is Kirk Minahan's tournament to lose with seven holes remaining. Pars will certainly get it done for him. I think that's what he's focused on. Fine. Nothing crazy. Oh, no gambles. I'm back. Oh, yep. He just can't have a catastrophe. What'd you get here, PFT? Nice. It's just that hole in the middle. And oh, speaking yeah. of Kirk, this Wait, was so for have? Birdie on 11. Oh, Holy I shit. I made, I made seven over. Nailed 11 like Drake's trying to do. Smacks his putter. Oh my, what is going on here? Oh, he's paying respect, he's paying respect. So Kirk Minahan, if he wins this tournament, there's one of those highlights. Hannah Cook now tied for seventh after beginning the round in second place. Still a good showing from the rookie, oh, no wow. matter what. A it's, a, it's a five stroke lead for you. Kirk. Five stroke lead. The ever curious Riggs. You Riggs went out of bounds on the last hole. He's now tied for third. Oh, Whitney, Whitney's even. Me? Whit, Whit, are you even? What's what's Rick got? I don't want like enough of a good putt shit. All right, Dave. No, no, good enough. I get it, I get it. was in contention. He started hot in the second round, but cooled off a little bit. Kirk needs this for par to keep that lead at five strokes over Ryan Whitney. Gets it. Yep. That's, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. He knows he has plenty of breathing room to win this tournament. With six holes remaining, the lead is five strokes for Kirk. It's, it's, it's going to be a coronation. 
That's a Look at that. Stretch. That was sick. That was an awesome par putt for Riggs. Thank so you. The final group will head over to 12. That and dragon mouth, know. Nick, it's oh, posed some issues for some players today. Oh, Whitney. Again, we don't know if it's a dragon. Whitney, you're two under? It is. It is. It is. If it bounces out, you're fine. It sounds like there's some controversy. Here's our leader, Kirk. A five-stroke lead Why? with... You hate this hole? Oh, I'm, good. I'm up. Roan, we hear you, bud. Holy crap. Good to hear you, friend. So I'm walking over right now to Ryan Whitney, who's just realized that he has a chance at this thing. Does he need a couple things to happen? Yes, but he also is up against a, a hard time schedule. No, 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 Wit, I'm, I'm live fine. right now. What needs to happen for you to win this thing? I, I have to make a hole in one here to get to four under, and then I got I need Kirk to blow up is what it takes me to win. And so you're speed playing this round. What, what, why are you guys? No, this is a dead one. Uh, I'm speed playing because we have a, um, a Pink Whitney meet and greet. Uh, it's, a, it's a big part of our contract with New Amsterdam. They're nice enough to have their top sellers come and meet us and fans and we sign bottles and we're, we're late. So it's, uh, that's part of our job. So you're playing against the course, you're playing against Kirk Minahan and you're playing against the clock right now. Playing against it all. That's a great call. Let's finish it and let's get home. All right, thank you to Roan. Thank you to Ryan Whitney. Shout out to our sponsor at New Amsterdam Vodka. Dragon not too hungry. <laughs> yeah, Hannah's. Which one? I almost went through. Not had a second round to remember. Again, she started I off in him. second place, and so now she is all the way down. Had him. Bottom of the leaderboard. Let him off the hook. Riggs with a Jim Halpert moment right Bible. in the camera. Kirk is who you thought he was. Very cool. Yeah, there was a moment in time. There was a moment in time. He's old. He, I'm up five right now. Yesterday like this, this the look. He, yeah, he's he won. But if you put pressure on him, he's not built for that. Right. Not cut from that cloth. So Got a Ryan Whitney. Here. But nobody just, does, so maybe we're not. We heard from him. He aced the 16th, Nick. He's now three back of Kirk. This yes. is uh, this is unbelievable. Hannah, you're up. Biz under par as well. So here is live Whitney 17. Gets in between the barrels. It's an ace. Oh, you he misses asshole. it. Oh. He needed that really badly. He needed it really yeah, that, badly. That, 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 but that was a could it but fall? Jake oh falls my down. God. Let's oh, see. Wonderful. Let's see. Okay, he still has that for a birdie off. What's par? par okay, here? that's the first time today we saw someone in that back hole. Yeah, on 17, get gotta, it through. On I got to make shot. this to get to three under. Here's Biz. He needs an ace as well. Eight, eight an ace here would put him in the second place. He's seven feet. This is it. It lips out. And he's not going to get the help that his co-host got. That's big for Kirk that there were no hole-in-ones there. Who do you like more, Biz or Wit? This is Kirk, another par on 13. He remains at five under. Big catch, herping him. Wait. Oh yeah, no. This is my turn. Turn. This is a lot we're live on 17. Yeah. Biz and Wit. Desperately needing that. Not sure what that again, was. Matthew Perry. Wait, did you hit it? I, I can't Sorry, putt yet. We were wrong. Biz with the par. He remains at one under. Wit can go to a three under if he makes that. So it's pretty much a three-way race between Minahan, Whitney, and Biz. He needs this to go to three under. It's left. Oh, that is tough. Wit just said that's his tourney. He thinks that's it. He's three back with two to play, but Minahan could still blow up. This is Kirk's tee shot so into oh the black V. Well, if I, if I make a hole one, that's an ace for Kirk Minahan. And that very well may be the dagger. The lead expands to five strokes, Nick. Dave. You got to be happy for Minahan. A small crowd gathering around him now. Yeah, that's a that's a par three. Yeah, Kirk. Biz and Witt are speed playing yep. through this final hole. They're on 18 right now. That was huge. This Charge. 20 Pringle hole, Biz and Witt just firing. So a par for Witt. Finished two under. And two. Biz misses. Whitney is. Hey, Biz misses, misses again. again. So he's done. So Whitney's seven. in the clubhouse at two under. 
Kirk is seven under through 14. That just hit Hannah. That hit Hannah. That just hit Hannah. Let's see if she oh admits. Boy. Let's see if she it admits hit to Hannah. it. Yeah, we've already had this debate. Let's take another out. look. This yeah, tee yeah, shot, yeah, it looked like it was it. close to that black V neck, but it hit Hannah it. Cook. She's standing, it hit her putter. It middle. hit her putter. Oh no, boy. It's, it, ba it bounced up, and she was standing right in the middle. Everybody's clamoring for a redo. Yeah. Redo it. What's the ruling here? No, I think Rick it's needs a miracle. He's right seven back of Kirk. Excuse me, nine right, back. His graphic hasn't updated yet, but Kirk with an ace is now seven under. And Jake, I'm going to be unbiased. It looked like that was going to be a hole in one. It might have been. No, no, no. It was. So I don't know if he's getting a penalty here, if this is a free lie. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Man. Say it ain't so, Rigsy. I don't know what you're doing. Nick, we are very close to this being over. over. That's right. That's right. Whitney falling New York. out of contention after failing to get that hole in one on 17. Kirk Minahan's lead is five. Whitney is in the clubhouse at two under, but Kirk through 14 is seven under par. I don't know if we're live right now. Barring a natural disaster, Jake, I don't see how Kirk loses this. Correct. Look at that. Riggs just taking himself out of contention on this hole, the 14th. I gotta text him. Tell him to keep his chin up. Come on. Just tell me where you bet. West Virginia? Ooh, West Virginia? didn't get out of the divot. All right. Sure. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is just unraveling for <laughs> anyone not named Kirk Minahan. Oh, my goodness. This tournament is pretty much a wrap. Unless Jake. Kirk yeah. goes out of bounds on every hole. Looks like there may be a children's birthday party at the arcade, so if you could stop saying fuck. I mean, I'm so far behind. I'm not even in the running anymore. There's no point in me trying to waste people's time by trying to set the wall up. So, again, Kirk is actually at seven under par through 14. He just had a hole in one. Kirk, you and again, are what awaits the winner? A $15,000 free bet courtesy of Dave Portnoy. What's Minahan going to put it on? That's awesome. I don't know. I'm thinking golf. You think? It's his bread and butter. <laughs> Listen, it would have been a lot more controversial, but it brings it out of it. I do that to you? Some words here between Kirk and Riggs. Well, I do that to you? Well, but she was on the island, wasn't she? She had her putter. She had her putter. She had her putter on the green. All right, boys. Nikki wants to have a can of Pringles. Okay, we're issues with her. Why are you looking at, why are you looking at us? She did it. Issues with the rules. I don't even. But, but. Well, tell, talk to her. I didn't do it. I wouldn't do it to you. I ruled it. Boys, boys, boys. Truth be told, you're out of it. Yeah, I ruled it a reshot. If you were in it, I would. We could have a much more. But then we're still out of it, no? So here's Kirk, a chance for back-to-back -back hole in ones, and to extend his five-stroke lead. Oh my God! Oh, money. Yep. That's it. That was a bad He's shot. He's on fire, folks. Right. When it's your day, it's your day, and that's, that's exactly right. what. Yeah, right. February eighth is for yeah, Kirk right. Minahan. I think there's a little smirk forming in the corner of his mouth. He moves to eight under par. Dave for another ace. Gets it. Dave actually by himself in third Fumble. place right now. I just, I, it's not a bad I showing from Boss Man. Hole three, which I retried. I'm like, why are so, so easy? Hotel. I have four I'm, I'm take a quick shower. Four to six shots. I think gonna come on Yeah, I know, because once, once I faded, once I faded, nice very nice, well. Rigsy. Well, yeah, where talk. the fuck? You complimented the other two? I would say something for that. Hold <laughs> one for Rigs. All right, Dick. Third. Third. <laughs> Get 
Diana complete the foursome hole in one. This metal game. Watch out, you're on the course. It's so funny too when we were. Like and she does. Oh! oh. oh. An ace for Hannah as well. I'll get ones there. Gentleman Kirk. Now at 12 over. <laughs> yeah, because the guy was like, turn. <laughs> so three holes remaining. The lead is five strokes for Kirk Minahan. And uh, Nick, as you heard from Ryan Whitney, he left the premises. So even if it goes to a tie break, I think Kirk would win by disqualification. I, I don't know what would have to happen for that to come to a tie break. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let me be the first to congratulate Kirk Minahan. Wow, Nick just said it with three holes remaining. The lead is six. Is that a hole one? If this goes down, what is, he'll go to 10 under. I mean, really, there's a lot of strokes. And in I that. think is a he hole did. In one, as I could tell, because the zoom in there. Kirk Minahan on a mission, advances to 10 under par, and he has run away with this thing. So shoot it when it's coming down. Nice fit, fist bump from Blatman. Dave at the Pagoda. Dave gets through. Will he get the ace as well? Ridiculous little easy. Yeah, Dave, you're going to finish second. Sorry about that. I hope you took some Dramamine. Stop it. So Dave, another hole in one. Dave now in second place. My Three God. under. Look at this. Three under par for Dave. <clears throat> This is the last three. Like, like be pissed when they know the pistons. Are Thank, you, Jake. Jake, 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 one. Him, you know Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Jacob. And Hannah. I hope you Hannah. Again. She's at plus twelve, but I still appreciate the practice swings there. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yes. Again, just a tough second round for her. She was in second place. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> We all got holes in one. Updated. Kirk is minus 10. Whitney's minus two final. Dave is minus two. And we are getting down to the nitty gritty. I'd like to thank everybody at home for watching. Yes, this has been a tremendous event. Shout out to everybody in the booth, led by our producer Murph, our director Pete, Lauren O'Connor as well, and everyone else behind the scenes, our rules analyst Hank. That's right, rules analyst Hank, and consummate professional, the best in the biz. Jake Marsh. Oh, you too, Nick. Thank you. All right, I complimented you, and you just hit me with a you too. I said you're hilarious. Okay. Throughout the uh, broadcast. All right, Jake. You you would me like Bono. One. So the only thing Thanks. left to be decided right now is if Dave Portnoy yeah, can get ball. outright second place. And I think Dave will brag about that. I think still. he will yes. too. So there's still a lot on the line. He's one up on Whitney. Kirk. Another oh, wow. hole in one on 17. <laughs> he is 12 he under what par. He's doing. This is and he leads by bad. nine. He's walking away with it. My he goodness. He was five under after the first round. He's seven under through 17 here. This is just, he is, uh, Jake, I, I don't know if we're allowed to say this. He's absolutely ass fucking this course. I think that's fair to say. Okay. Kirk Minahan, 12 under par. The only reason there is zero drama down the stretch here. Except for second place, Dave Portnoy, another ace. He moves to five under, and that virtually guarantees him second place. Portnoy, you son of a bitch, you're crushing. Where, so, was, if, if, where was this all day? Yeah. My goodness, he, he figured it out, turned it on. So Dave moves to in. five under. He'll take second. Riggs, the only one who can jump Whitney to get into third place. You know, normally in the PGA, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars separating every place. There'd be a lot more drama here. It's 15 K or bus for a free bet. That's I right. Had, I had him and do yeah. no, I, a hole that if I practice this course, hand to God, I would never get worse than a two. But I didn't understand how, I didn't understand the leeway I had with the shot until I practiced after. You changed Apparently that. We had this the capability of uh, I swear to making God. these the talkies. I said the analogy you know already. Pressure. This is the aging Apologize Celtics. for the technical difficulties on the ball. audio side and here. Celtics celebrate. I'd assume Dave sang something like he put, he put it well together. Yeah, he did. Right. He did. But I did see a, uh, a choke, uh, hand over the neck kind of choke. Maybe he was talking about his later first round. Oh, really? So they'll head to the 18th tee. 
Kirk leads Dave by seven strokes. Riggs got the hole in one, two. So Riggs can actually still have a chance at second place. As we head to the 18th tee, Kirk Minahan, 12 under par. Dave, five under. Look at Kirk's card, four straight Jeez. aces on the back nine, Nick. And let's take a moment to appreciate this, two titans of the game, my two favorite titans that were in this putt-putt tournament all day. Absolutely, five aces in this final in the middle round. Of course. He is 12 through eight holes, 12 total strokes on the back nine so far. That's, that's Kim Jong-un numbers. Just insanity. I think they're gonna have everyone else play it out except for Kirk to give him his rightful ovation down the green. Traditional like any, any other. Something that we walk always on do. 18. Oh, hit a Pringle. So Hannah will finish all by herself in eighth place. But a successful first round from her. Riggs, he aces this. He has an outside shot at second. Oh, good pace to it. Great shot from Sam. Here's Dave to lock up second place. Oh, hit a Pringle. And finally, I can't get close on this hole yeah. no matter what. Our soon to be champion, Kirk Minahan on the 18th tee. And you gotta feel good for Kirk. Hannah. What? Oh, is that what you were trying? I think that's Hannah's ball. So even if Kirk bogeys this, still more than enough of a cushion to take it home. What are you mad about? Yeah, I think a bogey will still seal it for Kirk. Let me crunch the numbers. Yeah, yeah, he's still good. And here's Riggs completing his tournament at two under par, tying Ryan Whitney. Third place. Dave Portnoy to lock up second. And a tremendous showing by Dave Portnoy. Oh, yeah. Five under par. Second place all by himself. No reason to hang your head. Nice shot, Hannah. There's Hannah, and I believe Kirk Minahan has eight putts here to win it. Let's see. Minahan, the mini champ, Kirk Minahan, 12 under par, demolishes the field and is your Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf yeah. Open presented by Pringles champion. What a day, what a production. I love it. Just a fantastic showing from the 48 year old out of Winchester, Massachusetts. A seven stroke advantage on the rest of the field. Kirk Minahan, Nick, it was a no doubter from start to finish all right let's send it down to roan he is with our champion kirk minahan 12 under par guys i'm with the champ kirk minahan 12 under par they said it in the booth you absolutely ass fuck this course yeah i mean you know i i, I let them back in for a couple a couple holes in the second I, I can't you know a lot of emotions right now a lot of emotions right now you had you were 12 under, Dave Portnoy in second place at five under. What does it feel like to see you and he in the standings like that? Well, I mean, like technically, I guess, I mean, being by six shots. But yeah, I mean, look, the feel was great. The course was great. Everyone did a great job. Uh, again, like I said to you earlier, I had one guy with me the whole time. Jesus Christ with me the, whole, the entire time. So I want to give him thanks as always. But it was just a great, great performance. Redemption completely. I choked in, uh, yeah, I played court terms in Maine. I choked at the one in the Hamptons over the summer. Now, absolutely, even the last hole, they're trying to rig it against me. But the turnaround shot of the whole tournament was 11. Left it short, put it over the hill, made the two. It was the greatest shot in the history of golf, miniature or actual golf. This guy's laughing. I don't know why. He should be fired because it was the greatest shot of all time. Podcast Jesus giving thanks to Jesus. Is this moment a special fuck you to anyone in particular? Uh, yeah. I mean, I got to say for Bob Murchison, who I know is watching this, like, this is Kirk Minahan Day, motherfucker. Eat it. Kirk Minahan Day, let it be known for all of posterity. Kirk Minahan, the champion. The people love it. Thank you. Thank you.
Back All right, you guys. thank you very much, Roan. Congratulations to Kirk taking a look at some of his best shots. I mean, Nick, there are so many to pick from. A total of a 14 on the final back nine. Unbelievable, Jake, and I was just lucky to watch. I believe this is the second shot on the 11th he was talking about, mm. the greatest shot in the history of mini golf. That was a huge birdie. That was unbelievable, Jake, and I'm just lucky to watch. Four hole-in-ones on the back nine for Kirk Minahan. <laughs> look at that celebration after making that birdie on 11. A huge exhale, the lead only grew bigger and bigger as he came down the stretch, down the back nine. This was on 14, he hits it into the black V. <laughs> Man, wait until you learn what you've been saying. His one, <laughs> four hole in ones on this final stretch. Here we go with the Pagoda at 16 as well. That's right, the Pagoda at 16 as well. And his final hole in one of the day came at 17 in between the two barrels. Found the gaping hole, stretched wide. And finally, the one that clinched it all. A seven stroke lead cemented and Kirk Minahan at 12 under par is your Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf Open presented by Pringles champion. Dave Portnoy in second place, Riggs and Ryan Whitney tying for third. Here's our final look at the scoreboard. Kirk all by himself at 12 under. You see Dave, a fantastic run down the stretch at five under par, Riggs and Witt at two under. And after that, a little bit of a gap. The defending champion Jeff DeLo ties in sixth place Nick. That's right. Uh, we just got to see a masterpiece painted today. No mistakes. Great to see. Absolutely. And we want to welcome you back to the broadcast route, broadcast booth to wrap things up, presented by Omega Accounting Solutions. Jake Marsh, Nick Terrani. Nick, what a tournament. A fantastic job done by everyone on the course and behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to say. A, a seven-stroke victory for Kirk Minahan over Dave Portnoy and the rest of the crew. 12 under par for Kirk, seven under in the final round, and he shoots a 14, nine under in the back nine. That'll just about do today here from Golfland Sunsplash here in Mesa, Arizona. For everyone behind the scenes, both from Lion Productions, Golfland Sunsplash, Barstool Sports, shout out Pringles, shout out Omega, shout out New Amsterdam, shout out my broadcast partner, Nick Terrini. I'm Jake Marsh shining off from Arizona, let's take a final look at what we saw today. It was the Barstool Phoenix Mini Golf Open presented by Pringles. Have a good night. Like the crew remind me a little bit of like Major League when everyone's rolling out of the cars in the beginning, you know. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. What the fuck is Let's wait. Okay. Hey. Like okay. that was good. Yeah! Oh, that's for one. Well, hell yeah. No. Drop. I mean, nah, dude, dude, I mean, that's fucking bullshit. I sucked, bro. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> the boss is going a little high. No. Is to the right. How did any of these people make the cut? Get in there. Not this left. Yes. All right, so what are these guys at? Six. He's out of it. Lower. He's out of it. I mean, I have two guys. Oh, I made, I made seven over. Vinny just made an ace on that hole. All right, so you guys are both at six. Who? Who? Ah.